Okay. Back to our shed. Zig and zag. Zig and zag. Zag and zig. 400 corn plants in this field, and there's maybe four green ones. <laughs> I take that back. There's only three green ones. Oh, shit. That scared me. Oh, that's a lot of Zeeks. Goodness. Children of the Corn, part eight. How many of those movies did they actually make? Ah, I can't move. Get out of here. Oh, now he's tangling with a bear. How funny is that? Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh my God, that was hilarious. He crunched him and then threw him. Everybody and their dog has to come. Steve, where's your dog? So we got a dude and a bag. Look at that headshot. Wow. Couldn't make it back. Took the health pack, or not the health pack, the heat pack. And um, guess who forgot to set his spawn point? There we go. That was really smart, OG. Oh, mother. I want to make sure I get a good solid headshot so it's a one-shot one kill here. Oh, man, he moved right when I pulled the trigger. Son of a... Okay, he's dead. One shot, one kill. I don't think it matters which one of these we buy. They're exactly the same, and they're both at full health. So, yeah, let's buy an AK. Boom. That means... There's nothing else, and else, and else. You best be on your way. Are you okay? Oh, shit, shit. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Is the whole place poison? We're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. Oh, that was close. Okay, yeah, we got... <laughs> that was really... Don't break your leg. This would be a really bad time to break your leg. Okay, you're not gonna come up here. Oh shit! Well, there we go. Oh, look at him eating us. That is just disgusting. Oh, that is terrible. That is just terrible. Wow, man. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh, he's right there. Yeah. What's he doing? He's fighting something else. Okay, here. Let's quickly deal with this. Oh, you killed him. Thanks, Kook. You want to be my friend? No, I guess not. Where is he? Oh my goodness! Holy shit! Why is there a polar bear in the normal woods? What in the hell? Oh shit! Ow! That hurt! And the cool thing about all this is we're gonna leave them with no mass and no power. <laughs> Suckers! Alright. Goodbye, Bravo! <laughs> <laughs> we completely drained them dry, and we made a total of five tanks and some scuba gear, all on their power and map. Um, maybe...
do a little bit more so we can kind of get the flavor here. It's a little weird, but not necessarily in a bad way. You know what? I like this, you guys. I think I like this. All right, let's... Yeah, there he is right there. Whew. Okay, we got him. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was intense. There should be zombos in there. Two to be precise. And we'll put them both down on the floor. We're doing some dental work on this guy. And Edgar, you need dental work too? Oh shit. There, he's had dental work too. Uh, I guess we gotta go up on the roof. I don't care. You're gonna, you're gonna have to tough it up because you can't shoot worth a shit. I'm blaming, I'm blaming my potato aim on my, my poor sprained leg. What a nice guy I am. Hmm. This is gonna be risky. I mean, this is gonna be risky AF, but we're gonna try something here. Whoa! We got each other. Oh, man. Oh, no. That sucks. We probably lost some ammo. Craft it. Craft the whacker. We might need the whacker. Oh, shit. Um, can we whack from here? Um, there. Yeah, we whack, we whack that out. Wow. Okay. That could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> we saved our house with our whacker. That doesn't sound good. Ah, running through the Arctic biome at night. My idea of a good time. Where's that coming from? I don't know where that's coming from. I hear... Are we playing ring around the the rosies? All right, we got him. All right, that's not too bad. That's pretty cool. Whoa! Mammoths? Seriously? Okay. Yeah, right, Saul, as if you didn't know this was going to happen. <laughs> Look at him down in the cubby hole. He's so cute. No. Okay, this is it. This is it. Here we go. Got him. All right, come on, Marlene. All right, uh, welcome everybody to Eco. I am an old guy gaming, and uh, my camera's not working. Why isn't my camera working? Uh, don't know. Oh yeah, it is. I forgot. I put it in the upper left-hand corner. <laughs> uh, new stream layout. Uh, when I do Let's Play videos, I have it down at the bottom. Uh, yeah, okay, that's looking good. So, yeah, welcome everybody to uh, Eco. Um, I think. Oh, yeah, Tad's on. Hold on a sec. Hey, man, what's up? No, no. Not much. Just uh, getting on Eco here. What you guys up to? I'm, I'm logging in right now. Nice. Like Lady Lane told me you're streaming. I was I was in Monster Hunter Rising. Oh yeah. How's that game? I love it. I'm a, I love Monster Hunter. I mean, I've, I've I've been a Monster Hunter fan ever since it came out. 
I remember playing it on my kids, uh, uh, one of the handheld thingies, PlayStation, PSP, or something like that. Uh, but was, that's the only I, time I ever actually played it. I was going to get it, and I was waiting for the price to go down a little bit on it because it was pretty expensive. Yeah. And a uh, lady Lane got it for me for my birthday. Oh, nice. Very nice. All right, man. So what's up? Been, you guys have been, like, really active on the server, I've noticed. I haven't been on it. Ever since I came on and saw, you know, that other stuff, I, I haven't been back on it. Oh, uh, well, that's been remedied. And yeah, I am I, I am live, too, so just keep that in, yeah, in mind. Yeah, I know. Okay. Um. Well, yeah, I, I know, like, uh, Maruski and... And Greek and some of those guys, and even Myth started playing too. Have been pretty active on the server, so I've yeah, been like been. totally just doing farming sim like crazy. So I haven't even been yeah. on here for a while. I've been, I, I've been watching your videos. Hey, are you? Uh, do you want to get on the server at some point? Yeah, maybe. Maybe when I get the game. I mean, yeah. I, okay. I haven't got. The, I haven't got the game yet, but. Hi so, Siri. Bye. How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> haven't seen you in a while. What you been up to? Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. Every time I log into this server, it's like, okay. Or, I mean, this game. It's um, it's just a lovely game. It's a wonderful game, but there's so much to it. I'm always confused about what should happen. Uh, I guess I have some stars, so maybe we should look at that first. I, I told Arcanus I was going to help with some of the high-tech stuff because he, he gave me a bunch of bricks. So I think he wanted me to do like electronics and maybe, I don't know, industry, mechanics, that sort of thing. Um, electronics level under this is, you haven't learned it yet. Acquire and read an electronics skill scroll to learn it. Um, is there like a, is that library still over by the, uh, You maybe yes. you don't know. As far, yes. as far as I know, it ain't been moved. Hey, Rachel. Hello. Um, do you know if anybody has an electronics skill book? It should mm. list, list in your, if you open up Z. Right. And if you click on it, it should list, like, if it's known in the world. If anybody knows it. I can't remember if I made it or not. I might have made it. It doesn't. Okay, so if I hover my cursor over electronics skill scroll, I'm not seeing anybody's name appear. Okay. So okay. it might not exist. Yeah. Nobody might not have made it yet because it takes so much to make it. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, maybe I'll just sit on these stars until Arcanus gets on because I kind of made a deal with him that I was going to do some of that stuff since he gave me some bricks. Oh, nice. You got another baby, Siri. That's awesome. Well, congratulations, boy or girl. Oh, he, you said he. Okay, so another boy. Oh, good for you. I'm glad to hear it. How's your, how's your, um, your other son doing? Your older son. He's got to be, what, about six years old now, something like that? Oh, uh, all right. Anyway, I guess, what should we do? We should keep terraforming our island, maybe? Well. What do we need to do on this island? Mean, we got all of our workstations that I, I think I'm currently capable of making. Looks like we need to put some uh, fuel in here. Do we have any coal? I could work on hunting and farming. Definitely need to get some farming going. And we could start maybe digging a mine too. So lots of things we can do. You're out of fuel also. So let's see how. Let's go back to storage. Turn that on so you can pull stuff. And then I guess I don't have any coal. Oh yeah, I do. Never mind. I do have coal. Alright, so let's do a split here. We'll do five. Okay, now let's cook some stuff. Yeah, it's, it's going to take a lot to make the electronics book. Is it? Okay. Electronics. No, I have. Um, it looks like I've read it. There's two people doing it. So just basic electronics. 
I guess so, yeah. Specialty. His name no. is Luke, and Aaron's going to be so nine in November. Oh, my goodness. You're talking about wow. basic engineering. I'm getting old, Terry. Of course, I've been old for a while now. <laughs> I didn't think he was that old. Wow. So if he's going to be nine, is he what, like in the third grade now or something like that? It says, it says two people know it. Yeah, Mariski and Arcanus, level one each. Yeah, it says two people know it. So the book must exist. Discovery. So, so, yeah, somebody's um, got the book. So it's in the library. Oh, yeah, we need to get uh, yeah. let me, some let me light check in the these library, guys, too. I, I need to know it, too. Yeah. Um, Rachel, what did you say? Two Rachel. people know Two people know electronics, so apparently there's a book. Oh, okay. So you just have to learn the skull. All right, so we got here. Let's put um, an extra one in there. Okay, so we got a little light going on there. Do this one. Yeah, that's that's uh can't believe he's that old. <laughs> back when we used to play to play seven dates die regularly, what how old was he back then? Well that was what, about four years ago? So I guess he would have been six, five, something around in there, eh? He's coming to the end of year three. Okay. Yeah, that makes about about sense. Uh, or it makes sense. Well, very cool. I hope you are doing well, my friend. And it's really good to, to see you. <laughs> I guess you can see me, but you know what I mean. Um, here, let's just put one extra in there. Okay, so our braziers are lit up. So we got that done. What, uh, where's our butcher station? It's right here. Okay. So what can we do here? We do have some skills in butchery. Uh, doesn't look like we can do anything. Stuffed elk. Oh, that's like, oh, those are, okay, those are like taxidermy. When I, if I make like an elk mount and put it in the house, does that give my house more points? It probably does, right? Yes. Oh, neat. Um, okay. But you got to put it in a dedicated room. Oh, really? So nothing else can go in that room? No. Like, my bathroom has my alligator in it. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, everybody has an alligator in their bathroom. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> hey, oh, God, there's a... The, there's an electronics book, there's an in, industrial book, there's an oil, oil drilling book. That's three books I know you don't have. Are they in the city library? Yeah, they're in yeah. the All library. right, I'm coming over there. Yeah, I'm in it right now. Ooh, have you guys checked out Rachel's Folly? He the was road. three to four there's when we bridge. when we first met on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah, time goes by so fast. Uh, Rachel, what did you say? said there's a bridge a new bridge on capitol island oh you guys have been working on clearing this this is cool it's coming along this is our what happened to our capital lectern thingy it's uh, it's at the top up on the pad on a pedestal thing at the top up on a pedestal it's not there anymore that i can see yeah it's not on the pedestal yeah, it is. I just saw it when I was coming down here. I'm looking at it right now. There ain't no lectern up there. Yeah, right there. I'm looking at it. I don't see it. Must you not be you see a lectern up on top of this? Yeah. What? I don't. <laughs> it, must, it must not be loaded for y'all, but it's up there. Weird. So you can't see it either, Rachel? Not on your stream. Oh, I see it's, it. It's right there. I'm making bear claws. All right. right I'm going to log out and back in. Uh, exit to main right. menu. Yeah, I was looking right at it. I thought you were, uh, I thought you were, like, trolling me for a second. 
No. <laughs> it is not either there. All right, let's log back in. No, Black Will, what's going on, dude? You sold the server on eBay? Well, good for you, man. Um, considering this was my server, though, you should at least give me half the money. Man, all my old friends are showing up. How are you doing, bud? It's good to see you. Hope, hope all is well in your world. Siri, you used to have the baby monitor when you were doing videos. Oh, now I see it. That is weird. Oh. I yeah, fell down. I see it now. That is weird, man. Yeah. <laughs> I told you so far. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go down here. Where's all these books at? In the second shelf. In the second bookcase. Are these signs that are down here just telling us what's in the library? Yeah, uh, it's, it's telling you what's in the library, and it's also telling what books need to be made. Okay. Um, I think the ones that's in red is the ones that need to be made. Let's uh, drag some fuel into this thing. There we go. Okay, say that again now. I think the ones that's in red is the ones that need to be made. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Oh, okay. That makes sense. What's in this room? Uh, they're doing something in here. I don't know what they're doing in here. Just some work stations, I guess. Yeah. All right. Well... <clears throat> Let's see. We know carpentry. We know we don't know composites. Okay, so let's do that. I already know that skill. Okay, so we learned composites. Um, paper milling we know. Baking I believe we know. Cooking we know. Advanced baking. I don't think we know that. Look at that, man. We're going to start our own donut company. Advanced cooking, I don't think I know that either. There we go. Okay, so you already know this skill. You already know this skill. You already know this skill. Da, 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 da. I don't know industry. I do now. I already know that skill. So all of these research papers are just there to, you need those to make the books, right? Certain yeah. books? Okay. All right, so all of those we've done. Is this the same storage? I think it is. Okay, so I learned a few new ones. Did you say the if the electronics one was here or wasn't here? Yeah, it's there. It's in the second bookshelf. The second bookshelf. Where's the second bookshelf? Right beside the first one you was looking at. Oh, so this is a different bookshelf. Yeah, they're all different bookshelves. Uh. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. So this is Capital Library Spare Scrolls Storage Chest. This is shelf three. Okay, we know butchery, we know masonry, we know pottery. I'm pretty sure we know glass working. We know smelting. I don't think we know advanced smelting, so let's learn that. And tailoring, I believe we know. Okay, here's the other shelf. Carpentry, composites, we learned that. Paper milling, baking, cooking. This was the f first one we looked at. Uh, okay, Tat, I'm sorry for being dense, but you said it's in the second bookshelf or the... Th yeah. Oh, oh, let me get my Whenever I look in any, any of these bookshelves, it shows me the same stuff, though, so I'm confused. It's in this one right here. Right here. This one right here. One right in the middle. Okay, so open it up. Basic engineering, mechanics, electronics. There we go. Okay. Now we know electronics. Okay, oil drilling. I don't think we know that one. No, there's industrial in there too. Farming, we know milling. Uh, I don't know if I know milling or not. 
Fertilizing, we know. Yeah, we already... I wish the book would tell you if you know it, not the paper, because then you have to create a paper. Not that it's a big deal, but... Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so let's put this paper uh, back here. And we'll consolidate. Okay, let's just double check. Tailoring, we know. Advanced cooking, we know. Smelting, we know. Baking, we know. Carpentry, we know. Advanced baking, we know. Masonry, we know. Farming, we know. Parts, we know. Butchery, we know. Advanced smelting. Mechanics. And milling. Okay, I think we have read everything. Now. So this, oh, you know what? Where are, this damn game is so confusing. When I look in shelf number one, capital library shelf number one, the very top of it where it says storage, is that what's actually in this shelf? Yes, the very top. Okay. The very the very top one would be the one you're looking at. It's all the linkable stuff that's like throwing me off. So it's just the but very top one. Okay. Only looking at only looking the top one. Don't gotcha. Pay attention to the rest of them. Gotcha. Okay. Um, did we do oil drilling? I don't think we did. Because I mean, the you one, know. Oh, I did do oil drilling. In, okay. The one you're looking in, oh guy, always be the top one. Gotcha. Okay. Now I get it. I was a little corn fuzzled there for a while. All right, let's put this back in here. All right, well, we got 35 land claim papers out of the deal, so can't complain about that. I guess we already know all of those things. Van smelting tailor. Okay. All right, I think we've done enough damage here for, here for now. Let's go back to our base and then decide what our next maneuver is going to be. Who's over here? Excavating. Me? Tat? Okay. I can help Tat excavate for a while. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to take down some more of his island. Yeah, I'll help you do that for a bit. Are, are we still dumping dirt over here to expand the shoreline? I guess we need to because we're yeah. right. okay. it, probably, it probably needs to be bigger than this. Well, I noticed somebody <laughs> said in the Discord that... Uh, <clears throat> that the island might not... Excuse me. I got a frog in my throat. Uh, might not be big enough, so. We're gonna use the big shovel, baby. So, Siri, um, have you ever played Eco before? Pretty fun, actually. It's one of those games that. I feel like I really I need to just play it and nothing else for a while to really get it a handle on it. But the problem is I'm still I'm playing other games too, so <laughs> it's kind of hard to do. I've got like four YouTube series on four different games going on right now, and I can't just like stop them all, you know. So <clears throat> I guess we'll just get on this once or twice a week and do the best we can. And if I have questions, I'll just ask Tat Rachel Maruski. Greek and Arcanus. Yep, we'll tell you anything you need to know. Right on, Zers. So, yeah, we're using a is is Big Shovel an actual mod or is it more like a admin tool? It it was part of that program. There is a mod called Big Shovel. Okay. So I went, I went on I went on the website where all the mods are. Yeah. And and most of them's out of date. They're not they're not updating. Well, actually, this game has been out for about six seven years now, I think. I actually got one that was the garbage truck. I put it on my server. I, I haven't, I haven't made it yet to see if it actually works. 
What is it supposed to do? I don't know. It's, it's garbage truck. So I <laughs> you don't know? Put garbage in. I guess you put whatever garbage you got and you don't want it anymore. You put it in there instead of throwing it on the ground. And does it, like, get rid of it for you or something? I, suppose, I, I, I guess that's what a garbage truck's supposed to do. I guess so. <laughs> I, I really don't know, old guy. I haven't been cool with it. All good, man. All good. All I'll right. Tell you, I'll tell you once I figure it out. Sounds good, man. And most of most of the mods, it's on the mod page. It, all of them's outdated. Whose card is that? I don't know. It's red. I couldn't get in it. Yeah, it's red. Could be arcanes. Okay, let's go work over here. So what we're doing with all this extra dirt is we're trying to build out the shoreline, make the island larger. Hopefully this side of the island doesn't get super deep. It's going to take a million years to do this. How deep does it get? Eh, it's Too not. Over it's not that bad. It's not that bad over yeah. where I'm at. Looks like it's probably about 15, 20 feet. You get out in the middle of this ocean. It looks like it can get up to like a hundred foot deep. It goes really goes down. Hey, you do know when you drop in dirt. If you switch to the pickaxe and then you right click, it'll, it'll drop and you won't have to do the shovel thing. Okay, say that to me again. That didn't register in my brain. Switch to your pickaxe. Okay. And then look wherever you want to drop the dirt and just right click your mouse button. Oh, you mean it just doesn't use the shovel's animation? Right. It, it automatically starts dropping it. Does it still wear and tear the shovel or does it? No. It doesn't wear and tear anything. Oh, okay. Interesting. When you are offloading dirt in the shovel, does that still use durability? No. Okay. It's, you can do it a lot faster, too, because you can just... Oh, yeah. Bam. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. nice. Okay. That'll save a lot, a lot of time. Of Except for when I accidentally go too high. I didn't think you knew that little trick. I didn't. Learned something new. Damn it. Cut it out. Oh, you, you, you played it once on stream? Just never got back to it? You're watching farming and subsistence, huh? Well, cool. I've taken a break from subsistence, but at some point I'm going to get back to it. And probably continue on my same save, too. I just had, had too many things going on at once, and I have been had been playing that for months on end, and I said, you know what? I just need a little break from this for a while. So there you go. Somebody was saying that in the next update, they're supposed to add, you know, like a quad or something to it, which is pretty cool, man. I might pick it back up at that point. And we'll see. But I want to finish my Gold Rush series probably first. The farming, uh, farming simulator, I'll probably just start playing for the rest of my life. <laughs> It'll be like seven days to die where you always play it. I'm enjoying that game that much. And there's so, you know, so much uh, that you can do in it, you know, with all the mods and the other maps. Have you ever, have you ever played uh, Seven Days to Die, uh, Age of Oblivion? I have not. I, I'm, a, I'm oh, familiar with God. it, but I've never played it. That game, that is so wild. Is it? Yeah. Oh, man. It, doesn't it add like a kind of a bunch of magic and kind of like a medieval type of theme to it or something? Um, it adds all kinds of new monsters, and new zombies, I can tell you that. Does it? I thought you didn't like Seven Days to Die, Dad. Yeah, I thought I'd go on and try it out. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I'm down for trying any game. Have you been playing Imperion lately? I haven't tried it. Not, I mean, I tried 
I went in to see what the new update was all about, but uh, I watched. I, I watched somebody. Can't remember who it was. Uh, maybe Spanch play like the first episode with the new update. Yeah. And I didn't really. Uh, I only watched the one, but it didn't look like the the changes were real significant. At least not the graphical changes. It's like, eh, it kind of looks the same. So I don't know. It, it, right, right now it's only on certain planets. No, really. Uh, they completely overhauled Akua. Did they? Yeah. Does it look a lot better? Uh, yeah. All the trees and stuff don't look nothing. Don't look nothing like they used to. Man, I love using using the pick for this. It's so much better. Just slowly building out the shoreline here. Well, I appreciate you watching, Siri. Thank you very much. I'm, it's gratifying to know that, especially you, because you were you were like one of my first original YouTube friends. So that's really really cool to hear. Are you ever gonna get back into making videos, or you're just busy being a mom right now, which is very important, of course. Most important thing you can do. My shovel's broke, so I'm about to go over and fix it. Yeah, mine mine actually is about ready to go belly up too. We can just we can fix it over at my house. I got iron. Oh, it looks like a wolf just killed that ram. We'll pick him up. Let's see if we can do something in the butcher shop. Actually, it's faster to swim. Look at that shark. Okay, let's um, go to storage. Uh, we'll close these guys. Let's have some meat. Oh, my stomach's full. Okay, storage chest, stockpile. One of these should have food in it. Yeah, this one has food in it. Crafting. Butcher medium animal, uh, animal. Butcher medium woolly animal. Butcher small animal. Butcher tiny leather animal. Uh, let's do... Let's do this one here. I'm gonna actually do all of these. You cannot queue more than five projects at a single table. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Where is my thingy? That's right. Repair. Excuse me, Buffalo. Yeah, this is actually. Not too terribly deep around here, which is a good thing. It'll make expanding out the island work better. It's just a little deeper in this section, but still not like way the heck down there. Okay, let's keep excavating here. Easy there, pal. Yeah, if I had one request for the developers of this game, it would be reduce the animals and make them behave more like animals are supposed to behave. 
That would be my request. So, um, prey animals should run away and not hang out in your living room. Wolves and jaguars and predator animals should in some way be dangerous to the player. Not necessarily kill you and eat you dangerous, but... It's just really weird the way the animals behave in this game. I've never known a wild animal to stay around you if they see you. Oh, I know. And this wolf's just kind of hanging there. And also, you know, another thing, too, is make them biome-specific. You know? You, the the frickin' bison is in every biome in the game. That just doesn't make sense. Or they walk across the water. <laughs> yeah. Jesus animals. <laughs> oh, man. Can't believe it. So, yeah, that's probably my almost my biggest complaint for for the devs. Not that they're watching my video, but if they ever did, okay, which they, yeah, you never know, I suppose, but it's like, come on, guys. Okay, we can't pick that stuff up. We can only pick up dirt. So all of that stuff will have to get in a separate... Uh, excavation session, or whatever you whatever you want to call it. More whiskey. Oh, that's cool. Well, when whenever you get to the point, Siri, where you start doing that, definitely let me know, and because uh, I'd love to watch it. Farming sim is, has a is really cool in that there's a lot of opportunities to, to do like role playing and story kind of mode with it. Um, and I, you know, I even, I've even been doing that a little bit in my series too. Not, you know, nothing, nothing real hardcore, but just a little fun role play now and then. And I've watched other YouTubers do, you know, similar types of things too. And it's, uh, it's really cool. There's a, whoop, there's a guy named, um, farm sim guy, I think. And uh, he's got a series that he does on a map in Wyoming, and he's really, really done a fantastic job with, uh, you know, with like doing story and role playing with it. And I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, another YouTuber that I, I really enjoy watching, his name is Daggerwin. Um, and he, he's got, he does a little, just a really tiny little bit of light role play, but I just wa like watching his videos. He's got a good personality. And Farmer Cop is another good one. I like to watch Farmer Cop. He's, he's an actual cop in real life, but he does um, uh, YouTube videos for farming game, uh, farming sim, which is cool. Dang, I just repaired this shovel like two minutes ago. It's broken already. But we do have 498 things of dirt in our inventory. Okay, so that's a desert area over there. So let's kind of keep filling in this little cove here, I guess. <clears throat> and we'll switch to the pick. Sorry about the darkness, guys. I, I don't have a light, at least not a portable that's lights source that's what i would ask the devs to change is give us a minor helmet or something to see yeah actually that's a really good idea i mean you can place like a a torch but it burns out too damn fast <laughs> good news though is the nights don't last too long so it'll, it'll get bright here see it's already starting to lighten up <coughs> It's going to be a thriller series? Oh, cool. Oh, are you talking about Farm Sim Guy, the Wyoming series? 
because I, I just actually started watching that. I've I've only I'm only like on episode like four or something like that. Maru, give me a hug. Hugs, hugs, hugs. How are you, my friend? Is that deer sleeping or dead? It's dead. Miru's not in uh, Discord. Miru, check out your uh, mailbox. There's some bear claws in there for you. Oh, that makes me hungry. <laughs> you, so you're like a baker now and you can make bear claws? Yep, I just leveled up enough to do bear claws. Is there a place, I, I thought I heard Arcanus talking about this, is there a place yep. that has foods that I can sample to see what I like? Yes, he okay. does. It's right in his face in his tunnel. Um, okay, I'll wait till he's around and I'll have him show me that. And um, I guess we better repair this. We noticed that your character, if your diet is balanced, it'll tell you that you have cravings and it'll give you bonuses if you can fulfill those bonuses. Cravings. What kind of bonuses? What what do they do? Ten percent. Ten percent harvest rate or something like that? Um, probably leveling up, I would think. Oh, that's nice. So, um you have to what I do is open up my backpack, go down to my circle thing, and see what he has to say. He's got a craving or something. Mm-hmm. And then try to fulfill it. The turkey beat up the wolf or beat up the fox how do i see where i would have a craving at i'm in my backpack okay go over to your circle that shows your foods if you have a oh bounce. over here yeah uh-huh okay click ghost over it yeah and it'll tell you and it should like say you have a balanced diet you gotta have a balanced diet i think and then it'll say your person has a craving i think it's down on that line it says <clears throat> I have a minus 6% balanced diet bonus. So I guess I need more something. Yep. Fats or Whatever. vitamins. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I've pretty much been a vegetarian for a while. And because I use beans for protein. But I do have some meat too, so. Um, you also <clears throat> can, the higher foods can be straight vitamins. Like some of the drinks. Okay. Um. Let's see here. It should be right under the balanced diet. It should be like a craving, tasteless bonus. So. Okay, well, I guess the first thing I need to do is get... What the hell? Is that building up? Yeah, it is. Uh, the first thing I need to do is get a uh, <clears throat> the balanced diet in the positive, I guess, right? Yep. Okay. Well, I think fat's what I'm the lowest on, and I actually have some back at the base. Because <clears throat> I process some animals in the butcher bench. <coughs> oh, you know what, too? I can, uh, I should be able to do the electronics now. Yeah, okay, so let's learn that. This will consume one star. So basic circuit recipe, electric motor, gold flakes recipe. How do I get, how do you do gold bars? You just smelt them like everything else then, right? <clears throat> Substrate recipe. What's this? Electric wall lamp. Ooh, that would be nice. Electronics assembly recipe. Mariski, me, and our canis can do this. You need 30 steel bars and 20 rivets. Huh, okay. So you gotta do all you smelting, then you gotta do a bad smelting to make steel. Right. All right. Well, I'm gonna talk to Arcanus before I spend the other two stars and find out what else he needs. Oh, this is a tractor. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice that. Maru's got a tractor here. Yep. Is it cool? Isn't that neat? Yeah, that's really cool. It's. Is it steam operated or coal or what? Well, I guess coal and steam kind of is the same thing. You need the coal to create the steam. Oh, that's cool. 
I've been busy yapping here and I didn't even notice it. I think she was trying to tell me that, but she must not be able to get in voice chat for some reason. There's something I can pick up. Oh, there's me, Ru. The tractor is for you. For me? What What did I do to deserve that? <laughs> really? You just made it for me? Oh, you got lucky. <laughs> I got lucky? Oh, wow. Mm. Thanks, Miru. So can I use it, like, to to pull, like, a plow and stuff, like, in the farming simulator game? What do you use it for? Yeah, you can make plows. Yes. Oh, this is cool. Thank you. What it a has different kind of plows that you can attach to it. What a very nice it. gift. Okay. So what about, like, a front loader to help finish excavating? Not, not on the tractor. Not on the tractor? No, it's only that's only for the skid steer. There's a skid there's steer in the game? Wow. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome! I made it just for fun and giggles. How much did... Was this, like, super expensive? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maru, I need to pay you back somehow. How can I pay you back? <laughs> oh, it even moves pretty quickly, too. Well, make I mean, big, you know. Make a big farm, you pay everybody back. All right. I'll turn my whole island into a big farm. Look at this. Just so you can enjoy running around. And the coal lasts, looks like the coal lasts quite a long time, eh? Yeah. Is there a horn? I wish there was. I don't think so on the track. Oh, wow, Maru, thank you so much. That is a really nice gift. You're welcome and enjoy it. Okay, if you ever if you ever need anything, just ask Tat. He'll help you out. <laughs> if you had a wagon on the back, you can move lots of dirt. Oh, can I put like a big trailer on the back to to haul stuff? No. But there's a little car. There's like a little car. There's a car that goes with it. Now, when you no. when you when you make the truck, I did up the storage on the truck, so you will have a lot of storage in it. Does the tractor have storage? Nah. Yeah. How would I know? I know. Just, uh, just open it up. Yes, it does have storage. It doesn't have a ton, but yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I up the storage that much on it. That is so I mean, cool. It's got, 20, it's got twenty slots. Yeah, not that's not too bad. Well, thanks, so, Maru. You're welcome. Just enjoy it in good time. You know, you know what? We, maybe we should do is. I mean, I know we're getting a little crowded on our planet here, but maybe we should designate some farmland somewhere i mean i, I don't yeah. mind doing a farm on my island but that's not a very big space you know well, are we are we can pick a spot in the ocean and make an island your old spot should be open to make just straight farmland is that enough room though yeah, it's huge okay well we'll have to have to keep that in mind this is cool man i love it Thanks, Miru. Miru, what are all the... When I get on the tractor, there's a whole bunch of squares that show up. What does that mean? Stories, maybe? No, I don't know what that is. It's, well, it's, it's like on the on the HUD, on the toolbar. It could be your toolbar. It could be your, your bag. Have to let it be. No. Are you watching my stream, Miru? Yes, I am. Do you see what I'm talking about? You see all those squares? I wonder what that is. You know what? They, might <laughs> they disappear yeah, when I get off the tractor. They could be like when you're picking up your stuff, your vegetables and everything. It could sort the different vegetables by by slots. Could, could, could be could be attachments too. Yeah, that's a hell of a lot of attachments. <laughs> yeah. You or know, like, um, like she says, sorting it um, harvests. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. And it looks. It looks like it has um, a modular, so we can actually upgrade it. Okay, cool. Thanks, Maru. It's all yours. Oh, you're welcome. Can you pick it up? Pick it up. Sorry. No. I, I should hope I can't pick it up. <laughs> it's got to be heavy. It needs a horn. Kind of loud too. What happens if I drive it in the ocean? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I guess in that case I would need to pick it up, huh? Good luck trying to get rafts to get it out. No, we're just going to be real careful, make sure we don't drive it in the ocean. Look out, fox. Would you just behave like a fox for a change? You too, buffalo. Well, uh, excuse me, bison. Good thing Pix isn't on. I've gotten in trouble for that one. Very cool. Okay. Well, Christmas came early for old guy. Fun. fun stuff. Fun stuff. Okay. Uh, shift plus labor on raw meat. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at that. The hamburger grinder's working. The animation is awesome. In this game. I'm making burger. That reminds me, I was going to call my sister up and see if she'd bring me some Five Guys tonight because I don't want to go anywhere. Five Guys is delicious. She does, um, she does like DoorDash and she does Instacart and all that kind of stuff. So if she's going to be out and about anyways, I'll give her a big tip. She'll like that too. Oh, yep. She will. You know what my tip's going to be? Don't pick up any strangers. How about that? You know, that's a good one. Yeah, I think I'll use that one on her. <laughs> she'll appreciate my my wisdom making her wiser because that's all that really matters she doesn't need money <laughs> yeah. hey stalker what's going on dude good to see you cj how are you my friend what you up to bud you hanging out with siri siri's watching on on twitch and you're on youtube my friend Maruski just gave me a tractor. I can't believe it. It's so amazing. I'm going to make you some attachments and you can, when you do your farming or whatever, you can put them on and see how that works. Okay. So this is like Farming Simulator 22 eco style. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's keep working on the, on the, uh, did you guys call this Capital Island? I like that name. Is that what we're calling it? We'll do some more community service for a bit, and then uh, we'll start working on some of our own stuff. I got myself a tractor. Hey, Maru, is that like a John Deere, or is it a McCormick, or a Massey Ferguson? What is it? It's a Maruski Ferguson? <laughs> yeah. It can be whatever you want it to be. <laughs> hey, Maru, have you watched any of the Farming Simulator videos? That's not really your cup of tea. Not yet. It's it it's it's a lot more fun than you might think. I definitely am. You should it. check it out. I'll, I'll be Man, that must be really deep right there. Let me see if I can make this some upgrades from that. Glad to hear it, Stalker. Glad to hear it, buddy. Yeah, let this go down a little ways there. Have you ever played this game, Stalker? Or CJ? So you've you've seen all those, Siri. That's cool, man. Yeah, I I, I um <coughs> I kind of stumbled across him actually because he did he was doing a video on on mods something like his top 10 favorite mods and I watched that and then you know when you watch somebody on YouTube then YouTube will serve up other videos from them and uh, so I saw he had a Wyoming map so I said oh I'll check this out and then it's like wow this is guy's really cool man so I started watching it and I, I plan on watching the whole series. So don't tell me how it ends. <laughs> right now he's got this guy named um, Jeb. Jeb, And he, he's he, at first he was like his friend, and now he's kind of turned out to be an asshole. <laughs> so I want to see how that all turns out. But like I said, I've only watched like the first three episodes, maybe four. I don't remember. It's, I'm pretty early on in it still.
Oh, and there's gold mining in there, too. I've been playing Gold Rush, you know, so that kind of appeals. But the farming simulator version of gold mining is nowhere near as sophisticated as it is in Gold Rush. But still, it's kind of neat that they have it in there. Out of the water. Get out of the water. You had it before it came uh, to Steam? Is Stalker, how is that? I've heard mixed reviews on on that uh, Gold Hunter. What is your... Have you played the original Gold Rush? And if you have, how do they compare? Because I'm... I just got to Tier 4 on Gold Rush, and, you know, I'm working towards purchasing one of the better parcels. And, uh... You know, so, but I haven't played that new one yet. I wish um, Code Horizon, I think that's the developer, would come out with a Gold Rush too. But I don't know if they ever will. I haven't heard heard that. Okay, let's get another load of dirt here. Uh, Maru, M Myth's been on the server? Mythical? Yes, he, he has. He was on, I believe, yesterday. Cool. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I picked up clay. I don't want clay. I want dirt. So we'll, we'll, we'll put the clay over here. We're making good progress, Tat. Yep, knocking it down. Knocking it down. Oh crap, I grabbed clay again. Cut it out. Can't take me anywhere. I've been going around, there's been a I found a few holes that somebody made and I've been covering them up. Okay. Maru, do you know Siri? Siri seriously stressed gamer? Yes. Oh neat. I watch I used to watch a few of her videos a long time ago. Yeah, she's been one of my longtime YouTube friends. Yep, she's been around for quite a while. Yeah. That's probably where I know her from. She she probably don't remember me, but I'm, I remember her. Yeah, Dito. I uh, I talked her at, along with a couple of other YouTubers into playing uh, Seven Days to Die Out, Insane Nightmare, you know, back in like Alpha 15, Alpha 16 days, whenever that was. <laughs> and we did a couple of multiplayer videos on it, and it was uh, it was fun. <laughs> well, I thought it was fun. I don't know if Siri did. <laughs> she got it. She got et a lot. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And then ever since then, Maru, she never listens to me anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So over by this bridge, old guy, how far out do we want to go from the bridge? Which bridge are we talking? Uh, there's a bridge over here with redstone in it. Bridge with redstone. Where you're standing? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, let's, get, let's take a look. So how far do we want to bring the island out this way? Um... I would say not too much further because it's getting close to the mainland there. I think our original our original discussion was to expand it on this other side, kind of over where I'm at. Yeah, but you don't want to get too close to your alley. That's true. Yeah. Too, if you get too close, then you're gonna be able to see every stockpile. Right. And that was the that was the objective of you moving in the first place. Well, one of them. Um, okay. Well, here let's look on the map. Is that, is that your island right over there? Yeah. The north... Okay, so the southeast and the northwest, there's a lot of ocean. 
So we might want to be thinking about going in those directions, especially to the southeast. There's a huge ocean to the southeast. Right over here where I'm at? With this uh, no. is over there? No, kind of down in the southeast part of the island, there's a ton of ocean, so lots of room to expand. Somebody ha had, has made a bridge. Wow, wow, that is a long bridge. Going I mean, directly yeah. south. Rachel's Folly. That's Rachel's Folly. <laughs> she didn't want to fall, so. I think what we could probably do, though, Tat, is at least kind of fill in this cove that's, you know, close to my island side, but not go, you know, too much further than that. And then start expanding to the southeast. That's what I would recommend. Okay, so you have both Gold Rush and Gold Hunter, which is an early access, and Hydraneer. I've heard of Hydraneer, yeah. I've never played it. So you want to expand right here? How far How far out? Oh, the old Dead is Dead series. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? That was fun. Uh, what's that, uh, Tat? So you want to expand right here? How far out you want to go? Uh, you know, you see how we kind of have the cove here? It yeah. curves in. Maybe just yeah. kind of straighten that out, but not go any further than, say, this point here. Don't go out no further than that right there. Yeah. Right. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So, so Gold Hunter, it's early access, but do you think it has the potential, assuming the devs, you know, stick with it? to be as good as Gold Rush eventually? Because, you know, if I might look more closely at it after I'm done with Gold Rush. I'm not, I still have quite a few more episodes to do on Gold Rush first, though. Because I want to at least get to Tier 5 and probably get to Nighthawk before, you know, I start thinking about wrapping up that series. And, you know, and also the Frankenstein, too. Got to get that going. All right, Tat, looks like we got most of the dirt out of here. Now we got clay and stone and crap, but I don't see a whole yeah. lot of dirt left. Ooh, I'll take the clay. Yeah, I've been, I've been keeping clay for myself, too. Ooh, are you there, old guy? I'm There's on Capitol Island, yeah. Right next to you. What's up? No, I don't. Uh, do you have something I can put something in? Drop it. You can drop it. I can pick it up. Yeah, just pick it up and throw it in your trash. I like that fishing pole you got. That's awesome. Yeah. And you got a nice bow, too. I want a nice bow. Risky made me that. Maru, mm -hmm. you're like a regular Walmart. There's one. <laughs> and there's two. Did you get those? Uh. He's going to pick it up. Oh, the food. Yeah, okay. Those should help with your vitamins. Thank you, dear. You guys take good care of me. Somebody's got to, right, Mariski? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is fruit salad. I love me some fruit salad. Me too. Would it tell me if I didn't like it? Yeah, it'll say the next eat one and then scroll over it and it should tell you what your opinion was on it. It'll uh, say you thought it tastes good. You, you find it, that you this food it. tastes okay. So I, I don't hate it, but it's not like my favorite. Right. Yep. Okay, let's try this. What's this? Basic salad. Is there a ranch dressing on that? You find this food mm. tastes delicious, giving you a 20% bonus to nutrition. Woohoo! There you go. I think okay. Rachel did. She must have slipped a little ranch dressing on there or maybe some Italian dressing. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you like that one. Okay, so I like basic salad. Are there croutons in it too? I, like, I think so. <clears throat> Maru, I like little croutons, a little bit of shredded tree cheese on a salad. Mm -hmm. Listen, that's that's a queen that needs to do that because she's our chef, our personal chef. Who is Rachel? Rachel and Arcanus. Oh, Arcanus. Yeah, Arcanus is very more advanced than me. He is so awesome in finding out exactly what you like. Okay, so fruit salads okay. Mm -hmm. Green salad or basic salad, we like a lot. Okay. In real life, I actually love salads, um, and I love fruit salads too. So, 
There you go. Hey, a wolf just killed a bighorn ram for me. That's the one thing I do like about the wolves. <laughs> they do my dirty work for me. <laughs> okay. You just have to pick them up. Pretty much, yeah. Of course, on the other hand, I should be, you know, leveling up my hunting. We'll get to that, though. An old guy can only do so much, right, Maru? Yeah. But you'd be surprised how much he can do. Yeah. And not all of it's good either. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but that's the thing about old guys. Yeah. Old guys can get up to no good. Mm-hmm. Very quick. Listen, old guy. I'm don't, tell it, don't tell everybody the old guys will get bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Tat's an old guy, too. He does <laughs> He does bad stuff. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell nobody. <laughs> don't tell nobody. Okay, let's see. we got a dead <laughs> rabbit here. We'll pick that up. Thank you, Wolf. Dumbass wolf. You don't act like a wolf. Maybe because he's a coyote. Oh, is that a coyote? Well, he doesn't act like a coyote either. Oh. In fact, if anything, coyotes, coyotes are more skittish than wolves are. I haven't really lived in an area where wolves live, but I have where coyotes live. And I know how they behave in the wild. And it's pretty much, ping, I'm out of here. They yeah. see, if they see you, they are gone. Oh, guy, I got an attachment for you for your tractor. Oh, what'd you get me? Is it a is it a subsoiler? I'm not gonna say. Oh, I have to come and look at it. But, no, no, I'm, I'll bring you your tractor over because that's where you're working anyway. Oh, can I use it now for what I'm doing? I don't think so. Oh. Okay, let's get on the tractor. There's actually still quite a bit of dirt over on this side here. And I'm digging holes. It has a great turning radius. Let me tell you. That. Oh, you, you're on an NDA with it. Okay. Well, when you can tell me stuff, yeah, keep you updated because I am I would be interested. I haven't looked closely at it myself. I'm, I just heard some people mentioning that you know, it's not really going to be as good as Gold Rush, but, you know, maybe I misinterpreted what they said or maybe they don't know what the hell they're talking about. I don't know. You have to try it when it happens. Yeah. Well, you know how it is, old guy. Everybody's got their own opinion. That's true. Oh, you're too hungry to do that. Let's see. Do I have any more salad? I do. Delicious. Okay. Now, um, you know what I need the most right now is fat. That boosted my vitamins pretty good. I need a little more protein too, but I've got that back at the base. I got some fat on me. I can I can put some of your tractor. Um, yeah, if you, if you have enough, but I, I should have some at the base too. I will in just a minute because I'm about ready to break my shovel. Yep, there, it just broke. Okay, so I'll head over there. <laughs> this needs a horn, man. I think so, too, so I can just blow the horn and you know that I'm coming. That's right. Run you over. <laughs> yeah, run me over. <laughs> Tractors do have lights. There's no light on your tractor? Um, let's see, let me put this on, supposedly. Alright, let's get this thing repaired. That looks so cool. Oh, God, you're gonna look. Okay, we should have some food in somewhere. Where am I storing my food at? Stockpile three, stockpile one has equipment. What about two? Two is wood, four is stone, three is 
Raw. Oh, there's some fat right there. Tallow. You find this food tastes horrible. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't typically eat fat in real life either. I mean, not like tallow fat. That would be, ugh. Uh, <clears throat> so what happened? Okay, so I need fat, but I th think it tastes horrible, so I get a 20% penalty. So what's the wor lesser of two evils there? Um, I could try to make you a bear claw, and... Um, I like bear claws. Uh, let's see here. Somewhere I've got some make... meat that I cook, too. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, I got some meat, and that will give me some fat. Yeah, bear claw will give you 21 fat. Does the... Um, how do I say this? The, so, so my character's taste for food, does that apply to real basic food, or is it just cooked recipes? It's specifically to you, and you have to test each food raw all the way to the top tier to figure out what your character likes the best. Okay. So even just something as simple as corn, I either yes. like or I don't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, okay, I see. So I... Tomatoes are okay. Beans are bad. 10% penalty. Uh, corn is okay. Beets are delicious. Which gives me a 20% bonus to nutrition. Okay. Hey, guess what, Rachel? Yes. I'm no longer in the negative for a balanced diet bonus. Yay! I'm not, I, I mean, I'm at zero, though. <laughs> but hey, a couple steps in the right direction, right? Yes. Tastiness bonus. Do you have a tractor, Rachel? No, I do not. But, but what? I was just trying to think if I, yeah, I need to do some farming, don't I? Yeah. I don't know. But you know what? I drove They're all fun. I drove his around with a harvester okay. on it. Cook that stuff everything on its way and in like one second he picked up like over 600 in grass fiber. Ooh. Maru, did you say you had an attachment for my tractor over here somewhere? Yes. Oh, okay. But you're not over here. That's the tractor over to the island. Oh, okay. I thought that was a different tractor that you had. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm coming back. <clears throat> there you are. Here I am. You're going to have to drive this tractor around. Use the cue to use your harvester in front. Isn't it cool? What is it? It's got a harvester attachment. What's it harvest? You just run around and press the cue and you see how this is in front of it. Really? Okay. Press Q and you'll see it go down. Press Q. Do I have to hold Q? No, I just press it once. Oh, it says... Use module. I don't see it doing yeah. anything though. No, but press the letter Q. I am so pressing Q. Oh, you are? It is not. Okay, well then go, let's see. Press Q now. It's supposed to lower this. It's stupid, it's not doing it for you. Is it because it says this is Maruski's tractor and not mine? It could be, that's why I should just take it off okay. and put it in one of the crates or throw it at you or whatever. <laughs> or throw it at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you should do. I can do that. So you mean it's going to harvest, like, tomatoes and beets and stuff? Yes. Oh, look. I didn't even see the header on the front. Yeah, let me, let me put the, uh... Oh, wow, that is, like, totally like Farming Simulator. I love mm -hmm. it. Can I now try it? Hold on, let me get the... Uh... The module, let me give it all to you so you can. Okay. So it will belong to you instead of, instead of me. Then you can do whatever you want with it. Oh, man, we you totally got to get a, a real farm going now. Yes, split a stack of something? Can you split a stack of something? Yes, you can. How? Here, uh, Maru, I'm going to go drop up all this dirt real quick. Go for it. I'm I'll carrying 442 it. dirt. Shift in the right button, then you can use your notches for however many you want. But if you hit control and I mean the left button, the left button, control okay. and the left button, and it gives you half. 
Okay, are you ready, okay? Thank you. You uh, it looks like the new updates for Conan are going to be good, so that'll that'll probably happen at some point. I just somewhat recently finished a big series in Conan, though, so kind of on a break from it. Okay, I'm going to play the cooldown thing. Okay, I'm going to play the cooldown thing. There's not much. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And when you press the extractor down, you... Um, don't try to get on it, but do E from the front. E, e from the front? The okay. Uh -huh. Put and coal. You, and then you'll be able to see the interface. Okay, now go to modules on the top right there. Right, okay. Now put your tractor module in there, which is your, yeah, perfect. Now it's all yours. Uh, Houston? What, <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> um... <laughs> Just oh, you, you know why? Because I was standing right in front of it. Okay, hold on. Here, take this out. Take it out, quick. <laughs> I'm going, what in the world's going on here? Okay, you put so stream cool. steam tractor harvester. Wait, what? Take coal. I don't... The letter e. I don't... E to get into your interface. There you go. Now you can pick it up with the tractor. Where did it go? Oh, I put it in storage. Sorry. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, where did it go? Yeah. There, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Now you should be able to use the queue. When you bring the queue down, go over the grass and all that stuff. The steam tractor belongs to a deed. OG's steam tractor deed. Open deed. Okay, cool. Owned by OG. Cool. Property. Who can access? Every, I'll just let everybody access. Oh, you are so sweet. I put active, so it, oh, everybody's good. Okay. And I'm your practice. Maru, I wouldn't think of it. At least not while you're looking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, let's get in the tractor. Oh, look at that. There you go. This is so cool. Oh, it picks up everything! I thought it would just do like tomatoes and stuff. Yeah, look at how quick it picks oh, up the this is amazing! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You gotta... Maru, this is the best present yeah. ever. <laughs> See, I thought it would just do like tomatoes and produce, but it—I mean, it just grabs everything, right? Okay, yeah, that settles it, man. We, we're going to plant a big-ass farm. <laughs> yeah, because look at how easy it is to harvest all this stuff with harvest. Yeah. Are you seeing this right there? Yes, it's cool. That is so it's neat. It's so much easier than I like, walking all over the place collecting stuff. Thank you, and it's fun too, huh? I'm going to make yeah. one. Oh, uh, Maria, you're so sweet. And we also have one that is a plow. So in case you really want to make a farm, I can do So it basically does what the hoe does, right? Yeah, I'll take one of those. Okay. You sure there isn't somehow I can pay you for all this stuff? Yeah. Uh, yeah? <laughs> the thing I forgot to tell you, OG, is that I'm actually going to charge you real life money for this, so you can send me a check in the mail, or just Venmo. <laughs> this is so neat. I love it. Farming simulator eco style, baby. That's what this is. Okay, so it doesn't pick up stuff that's not mature enough to harvest. That makes sense. Does the tractor have a durability on it? It has to be repaired? No, but it does have uh, fuel usage. Yeah, fuel usage. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to open my own farmers market. Oh. There's a bunch of holes over here. I wonder who did that. Yeah. <laughs> 
problem with this is now I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to store all this stuff. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, Houston? Whenever you get on the hole, just get off and put a little soil under that wheel. And do what? Just put some your, dirt. Put some dirt on Oh, the yeah, wheel. some dirt. Okay. Actually, I, I got to finish uh, working with this dirt anyway, so let's go get it. All right. See if you can back up. Oh, uh, I'm over here now. He's go. I'm at, I'm at your tractor. All right. Okay. I'm going to grab all this dirt. Don't drink in tractor. <laughs> yeah, that's good advice. <laughs> how's it How's it going, Dev Delimited? Nice name, dude. I love it. Dev Delimited. Thanks, Tat. Yep. All right, let's harvest our way back to our island, and then I got to get back busy. Uh... Helping Tat here. That's that thing about Maruski. She's really good at sidetracking me. I'm just gonna pack these holes just to work. Okay. Right yeah, I was gonna I was gonna fix that, but if you don't mind, that'd be cool. Yeah, we're we're cleaning it up later. Okay. You're cleaning up after me. <laughs> Somebody's got to. Got the first person view going on here. Can we harvest a coyote? Nope, doesn't work. Oh, they need lights on this thing. Oh my goodness. Don't go in the water. I can just hear Maruski now. You know, I went to all that trouble and expense to make a tractor for that old guy. And what does he do? He just drives it right in the ocean. Right into the ocean. Mm -hmm. Right into the ocean. I think he can pick it up. Yeah, he can pick it up. That's the beauty of it. Okay, let's, let's dump some more dirt here. This is going to be my last dirt dumping batch for this stream. And then uh, we're going to go work on our island for a bit. Maruski, is there anything I can help you with? Or Tat, or Rachel, or anybody? Uh, right, right now, I'm cleaning up uh, all these rock and stuff off on this hill. You want me to give you some advice for your life? To make your life better? Who? Any of you. Oh, yes. Yes, definitely. Definitely? Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Here's, here's my OG sage advice. Are you ready? Uh -huh. If you're going to drink light beer, mm -hmm. I have to say that out of all of the light beers that I've tried so far, because, you know, I'm trying to lose weight. And by the way, I've lost 20 pounds just so. Nice. Yeah, thank yes. you. Doctor's very happy with me. Um, out of all the ones I've tried so far, I have to say <coughs> that I think light. Bud Light's the best. Miller Lite's not bad. Michelob Ultra is absolutely terrible. Um, Coors Light's not too bad. But, uh, oh, and then Bud Light Lime. Actually, I've, I've always liked Bud Light Lime because, you know, lime, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, I would have to say it probably, out of everything I've tried so far, Bud Light and Coors Light are my top two favorites for light beer. Now, I'm not saying I like light beer. Don't particularly care for it, but, you know, when your doctor wants you to lose weight, IPAs don't help. <laughs> so there you go. There's some advice for your life. If you're going to decide to start drinking light beer, go with Coors Light or Bud Light. Because 
I'm sure that your tastes are exactly the same as mine, and so if I like it, you'll like it. <laughs> like when we met, and you, you, we tried that weird beer. Hey, uh, you gave your beer to me, and I didn't complain. Yeah, I took one sip, and it was horrid. You ordered one, you took one sip, and you said, no, I don't <laughs> like this. And I said, that's fine, I'll drink it for you. Yeah. <laughs> but Walter drank his beer. Does. Walter likes oh. beer. Oh, Walter doesn't drink beer. Didn't he? I thought he had a beer. No. Was I the only one that was drunk that night? Yeah, you and I. Because <laughs> you one, and I. Sip usually, one sip usually gets me lightheaded because I'm not a drinker. <laughs> yeah, right. So mm -hmm. if you do drink, then you feel it, right? Yeah, but you you, you, you weren't drunk. Because oh, no, I was I was just teasing. Okay, it takes uh, more than one, one or two beers to get me drunk. In fact, it's I try not okay. to get drunk at all these days because it hurts too much. Too old for that shit. It's not worth it. Well, hell, old guy, I ain't drank in 30 years, and this still takes more than two for me. <laughs> How do you know if you haven't drunk in 30 years? Well, last time I drank, it, uh, it took, it was at least 15 years, and it took that more than that. Right, but your body's probably changed a little bit in the last 30 years. <laughs> yeah, ain't changed that much. Not that much, okay. Maru, you want some more, um... Life advice? Yes, please. please. I can okay. use all the life advice that I can get. If you have the choice between chunky peanut butter and smooth peanut butter, smooth. Always. always go with chunky peanut butter. Never always take smooth. smooth. <laughs> never no, take smooth. Always no. Smooth. You can Tat, always add peanuts, but you can never take the peanuts out. Tat, real, real men like chunky peanut butter. Uh-uh. Always <laughs> smooth. Maruski, okay, if you want to be okay. a real man, you need chunky peanut butter. First of all, I need to be a, a real man, and then, then I'll go for chunky. That's good advice. It is good advice. I, see, I'll I, I, I'm, I, I'm paying you back for making me a tractor, right? I'm helping you out island. with your life. Mm -hmm, you are. Damn straight. No, seriously, Maru, do you like smooth or chunky peanut butter? Well, to be honest with you, I like them both. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's 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 a that's a like nice a cop out answer. But you know, okay, we'll we'll accept no, it. <laughs> sometimes I feel like a nut, and sometimes I don't. Even know both of them are nice. Perfect response. Perfect response. You got some points for that one. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes I don't. Man, that's an old commercial. Don't get copyrighted. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna get copyright strike. You think we are? Maybe. Because you, you can you can do a copyright song like ten seconds and you're you're okay. I've never had an actual copyright strike on my channel. I've had, um, what do they call them? Copyright what? notice, oh. and what they do in that situation is any revenue you make, they just send it to the copyright holder, but you don't get in trouble for it. Oh, that's good. And you know it. I made a video once and I put some what I thought was public domain Christmas music on it because it was around Christmas time mm -hmm. and I got I got hit with that but I mean that that's not a bad mark though you don't get in trouble for it they just says hey if you make any money on this video it's gonna go to such and such because they have a copyright on it so it's like okay well whatever Sucker, you ain't gonna get paid for that one. <laughs> it's looking like it's gonna be a month away for Conan. Maru is wild about with, without beer. <laughs> oh, you, you mean Maru is ar ornery enough without drinking? That's what you mean. Yeah, I agree. Yes, yes. Yeah, I agree. You know. Because I am good. I, I say this a lot, and people are surprised to hear me say this. I'm not really a huge zombie fan. And yes, I know, Seven Days to Die is my flagship game, but I've never played Seven Days to Die specifically for zombies. I play that game because it's one of the best survival games out there and still is to this day. That's why I play the game. Zombies just give me something to shoot, shoot at. But I'm not actually a huge zombie fan in, you know... Aside from that, so 
Anyway, there you go. For a guy who doesn't like zombies, you like zombies a lot. I like to shoot zombies. He likes to kill them a lot. That's right. And I like to make fun of him because Edgar's a dumbass. And he loves it when he blows them up. Oh, yeah. There's nothing funner than blowing up zombies, especially if you're blowing Edgar up. Well, the truth is, I don't like any of the zombies because they scare me. Do they? I Even used to be really game. afraid of zombies when I was a little boy because I watched a Scooby-Doo episode where they had a zombie in it. Man, I was getting nightmares and all kinds of shit. But, yeah, seriously, though, I'm not I'm not actually a zombie fan. I just like Seven Days to Die because of the game in its entirety and what you can do in it. So, anyway. There, Maru, that's some more advice for you. So, so if you ever want to, you know, buy me... A birthday present probably shouldn't be a zombie game. It should be some kind of zombie game? No, it shouldn't be. Oh, okay. <laughs> a zombie stuffed toy. <laughs> An Edgar stuffed toy. Can you, can you, that would be funny actually. Edgar stuffed toy. That would be hilarious. I'll take, I'll take Farming Simulator any day though. That is a fun game. So we're slowly building out this coastline. We're actually probably don't think I want to get too much closer to my island than this. We could right. we could fill in over here a little bit and still be okay, I think. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's work over kind of in this section and build this out a bit. Hey Tat, that trick you showed me with the pick, it also works with the axe too. Yeah, yeah, it works with any tool. Yeah. Makes it a lot faster dropping dirt. Very much so. <laughs> Maru, you know what uh, farming simulator is really good for? What? As a YouTuber? Making um, montages. Because the thing is, is, you know, you're on a tractor and you're plowing a field or you're harvesting a field or you're making bales. And, um, you know, you can only watch so much of that, right? But if you if you make kind of like a little music video out of it, then it then it's a lot more fun. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, What's up, Rachel? Want some bear claws? I, yeah, I'll take some bear claws. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Those are my favorite ones. Well, let's see if I'm going to like them or not. There's a donut. Ooh, I like How donuts. Oh, man, you guys are making me hungry. Oh, and you can have this. I made myself another one. What's this? Fishing oh, rod. thank you. Wow. You guys do realize my birthday's not till September, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's see. Now, do I like bear claws? You have never tried this food before. Um, okay, try it once and then check it. See what you it uh, you find that this food tastes okay. Well, all right. Okay is better than lousy. Uh, let's try this chocolate donut. No, this is a worldly donut. Understand this and you will understand a lot. Okay. Um, uh-oh. The donut, the donut The donut disappeared. Only one. Sorry. That's all I had the ingredients oh, for. Oh, okay. So I I don't know if I liked it or not then? It'll, um. Not off the box. Not until you come across another one. Okay, that's or fine. Or if you look in a stove. I'll go over to Maru's house and look in her stove. Sure. Uh, is it the oven that you did it or the stove? It's the baking. The baking The one you make in the kiln. Yeah. Thanks, Rachel. Okay, no, I don't have that one. You have you to don't have Rachel. that one? No, you have to go to Richard to be that old guy. Or Arcanus's too. He might have donuts. I don't know. Did he have donuts? Yes, Maybe he does. Yet? Okay. If he's yeah. got donuts, you just scroll over it. 
You're saying your life should flow full circle. 25 years ago, you started with Bud Light. <laughs> well, if your yeah. doctor tells you you either need to lose weight or take meds for high cholesterol, then yeah, I, I would go back to Bud Light at that point. Uh, no, I've, I've been playing Eco for, I don't know what, two months now? I just only play it a couple times a week for a couple hours. And if you're familiar with this game, it's a very deep game. So I still don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I'm having fun. That's the important thing. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Are you? Do you play the the game a lot? I did it again. That's the only downside, Tat, to this fast offloading is sometimes you put too many down and then you gotta yeah. take. It's still worth doing though. But at least at least it's easy to pick it back up. Yeah, absolutely. Unless you don't have to run back and forth. Speaking of running back and forth, I have I got to get my steps in today. It's too bad, Maru, that you can't get your steps in playing video games because you know you take you take a lot of steps in video games. You run around all over the place. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't count, man. Yeah. Here, let's. I think Nintendo mm -hmm. used to have that pad that you put down and you can do all sorts of running around. Oh right, yeah, I know what you mean. Like the we uh, we has something like that. Mm -hmm. I think my kids used to actually do that. I still have mine. I have everything in my attachment. You dabble. You run your own eco server. Nice man. Yeah. We have how many players do we have on this server, Maru? Uh, it seems like more and more are coming in. So for now, it looks like we. Probably have, let me see. Uh, let me, let me look I uh, I pay for the server, but I let Tat add admin it because he knows a lot more about it than I do. We have eleven. Eleven people. Okay. And I I'm starting to think we should have made a bigger planet, huh? When we started. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it is, it is a little small for as many people as you. There's no way to fix that though, right? Without starting over. Uh, you'd have to start on. Oh, okay. I don't think anybody wants to do that at this point. No. But if we do, you know, if we do start a new season at some point, we'll definitely make a bigger server or a bigger planet, I should say. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we we brought out the the coastline. You know, where you guys see the sand here, that was the original coastline. So we brought it out a decent decent ways, anyways. Okay. So. Um, I think I'm done with community service for now until I get arrested again. I mean, um, <laughs> and so what I'm going to do is go back to our island and let's do some work over there. Maru, did I tell you I, I got arrested once and thrown in jail a long time ago? For real? Yeah. It's not on my record anymore, so don't, you know, don't tell anybody. Okay. Well, I'm talking like 40 know? years ago, a long time ago, when I was young and yeah, stupid. When you were a kid. Yeah, because well, that's what, teenager. That's what teenagers do, yeah. yes. Teenagers have to do that. Walter did that. No, he did not go to jail, but he had to face the judge and scare the crap out of him. He never did it again. Well, that that's good. That's the exact outcome you want. I faced the judge a few times, but there's only one time that I got actually arrested, thrown in the back of a cop car, and oh. spent the night in jail. Now, you're not going to oh. believe me when I tell you this. But it's the God's honest truth. Yeah. I actually was accused of doing something that I did not do. But I still got thrown in jail anyways because the cops wouldn't believe me. Oh. Now, what I'm not going to tell you is that I did do a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> that they didn't catch me for that I should have gotten in trouble. So, you know, karma and all that, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's, let's, see, let's use our tractor here and um, do some harvesting on our island. Cause that's what you do when Maruski gives you a tractor. You harvest. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. And then I gotta figure out what my next maneuver is here on this island. What we're gonna do next? Oh, that smokes right in my face. I got a flower for you. So you, when you're ready to do your flower for your for your um, garden or whatever. Okay. Do you have uh, one cooking up now, or does it take a long no, time? No, it's already. No, it's already done. Oh, nice. Okay. You want to check it out if you 
Well, let me get let me get all this stuff harvested first. Oh, I'm gonna run out of room here. That's good. I got I got a bunch of stockpiles. Look at all the fiber you got. I know, isn't that nuts? Mucho. Are you yes. serious? Do you need oh, if you need goodness. fiber, come and get it. That's more than I know what to do with. Oh yes. We need it. Don't so you need bad. it for your pa paper mill? Not yet. Don't I don't have a paper mill. Oh, I thought she was talking to me. Yes, you did. Yeah, Rachel, I'm gonna need it for my paper mill in about twenty years from now when I finally get around to making one. I don't need it, you should go for it. Oh okay. I got my way in here. Come and get it. Man, that is so loud. Let me see if I can turn that down. Sound effects. I can't even hear you guys when I'm on this tracker. It's so doggone loud. Okay. I turn it down a little bit. You named your tractor Harvester of Sorrow? Oh, it's a Metallica reference. If my son-in-law, who does play on this server, was on, he'd, he'd be totally digging that. He's, he's a big Metallica fan. Rachel, do you want to... Uh, actually, yeah, if you don't mind taking it now, because I'm out of room. <laughs> Way out of room. Hey, wait, how come that one stack has 498 and the rest only have 50? Because you cannot see it after a certain number. Oh, I only can carry 50 at a time. I might have to go get my... Okay, well, I'll, I'll go dump it off in this, one of the stockpiles, and then you can get it whenever. Well, you have to do the stockpiles, because they're good for What's that, Miru? The stockpiles are only for you because I oh. can't put anything in it. Here, let me fix that. Can I authorize everything on my land, or do I have to do each individual thingamadoodle? Pretty much individual thingamadoodles. Okay, everyone can access that one. Okay, in my backpack, I can stack them to 1,000 or 1,500 cool. per site. All right. You heavily mod your server and run a 180, 180 render. What's, hey Tat, what's the size of our world, do you know? Um, or how do I look that up? Rachel. Go, mm -hmm. You gotta go under the world gen file, and it'll tell you. Oh, okay. That's too hard to do right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, uh, you don't got to, man. I'm just. It, it won't take me very soon. Okay. I was just curious. I, I know our planet's pretty small because when we first started it, there was only like two or three of us that were playing, and I didn't had no idea we would eventually have 11 people on it. So, can I take the sunflower seeds? You can take whatever you want, dear. Okay. Anything you need. And Rachel, you look in here, and there are two tractor modifications. Where are they, one, Maru? One for one for old guy, and one for one for you. In this stockpile here. Yeah, where I'm standing right here, John. He needs a silo. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to actually keep oh. the plow in there for now. I have a silo for you, too. Holy cow. You have a silo, too? Yeah, I got you a silo. Man, Maruski. You know, Christmas isn't until December, right? Yeah, but I don't know. Are you going to be here for Christmas? <laughs> Probably. Okay. This we, have, we have a half a year to kill that stupid meteorite, That's so yeah. True. Of course, by the time Christmas rolls around, it probably will be, have been almost a half a year, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll have to start a new server at that point. Okay, let's see. What are we doing? Where are we going? And why are we here? Um. My 
my plan is to build a house up on the top of this plateau here because that's the workshop um but if we're gonna do we could at least clear this level of dirt so why don't we do that I want to dig a mine, so that's on the list of things to do. We need to harvest those trees. Well, we don't actually need to harvest those trees. I got quite a bit of wood. We might leave them in place for now. We'll see. All right, so that takes care of that one layer of dirt up here. It says, it says it's 140 by 140. Which okay, is so that's... It's not, it's not so ours is a 140. Yours is a 180 that you you have. So yours is a little bit bigger than ours. How many people are on your server? Where am I putting dirt? I'm putting it in here. I got it on my server. My server's a 100 and a 120. So, that's not too bad. 140's not too bad. Oh, you know what, though? If we're going to bring this dirt down to sea level, which I want to do, because I'm going to put a big old farm over here. Yeah. And I, I'm going to have to replace all this sand with soil, too. Okay. Let me. What's the shape of this? So it's kind of oblong here. What I might do is make it more circular and just put like a little small house or maybe even like a lighthouse kind of idea. And that we could shave this part down. And we're going to need to save all that dirt to replace the sand for farming. So I'm just, I'm making this up as I go, you guys. All right. I'm just making it up as I go. So let's cut these trees down, and I can always plant new ones later, which I would like to do. Maru, does um, your tractor does the tractor have a um, uh, what the hell's it called? You know, one of those logging machines that cuts the trees down and delimbs it. No. Oh, mm -hmm. bummer. Okay. I put the silo in here next to your tractor addition. Okay, uh, stupid question. What does a silo do differently than a stockpile in this game? It holds only seeds and pr produce, like your tomatoes and your soybeans. But it'll keep all like all your seeds together. So if you want to plant something, you find your seed in your silo. So it's just an. an organization container for for seeds and stuff yeah okay so it does yeah, perform the function of like a real silo like making yeah. silage or something like that okay but the most important thing about the silo is this what it looks awesome it oh looks yeah well there you go all right i'm going to probably wait to put it down until i have a better idea of how the layout's going to be over here but thank it's you my risky prettier than your stockpile yeah right gotcha okay all right, so um, let's let's cut through here. And like I said, we're going to save all this dirt because we're going to need it to replace the sand for our farm. So Rachel, you think my original property would be a good place for like a community farm? I would think so. It's already. Um I don't, were you able to pull your claims up? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, yeah, I would think so. You already had it pretty flat to begin with. And you started to put a garden in. Yeah. So with the tractor, you'll be able to get all that cleaned up and um, plowed. Does plowing pick up the dirt? No. 
Okay. It just does the whole function. Yeah. Okay. I think, isn't there also a cedar mover? Yes, not a cedar, but I think it has, um, let me see what it's called. I thought it said, I thought it said it was a cedar. You put what you want to plant in it and it, it, it seeds it. It is uh, a steam tractor sower. Is that a, is that sower, a sower? Yeah, that's the same thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's sow. You sow your seeds. Right. Yeah. Okay, well then I can you, put in, you put in what seeds you want and it, it, it sows it for you. Ooh, let's get busy with that one then. Yeah. <laughs> Useful. This is so useful. The big shovel. I love that shovel. I just about cleared all this dirt. That would have taken me 20 minutes Everybody the old way. Yeah. Cheaty as hell, too, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> who gives a shit? We're not looking at that. No. Nope. Oh, is that a glitch dirt? It's it's a glitch. That's right. Yeah, it's not a cheat. It's a glitch that we're just completely exploiting. <laughs> oh, we're too hungry. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna have another bear claw. Let's have three. Cause you know what, Rachel? I can eat bear claws in eco, and it doesn't affect my cholesterol. That's true. In real life. Mm -hmm. That's so weird. My shovel's broken. Hey, Tat, does your shovel work? Uh, yeah. Oh, what's wrong with your shovel? Yeah, mine's not broken yet. All right, hold Is on. Let me, let me, let me drop a stone. Maybe, maybe he needs, maybe she needs iron. She doesn't have any on her. No, she's trying to dig his dirt and it won't dig, it won't pick it up. Oh. Is she out of, food? Are, are you out of calories? Out. Nope. Hmm. I would reboot. Yep. Okay. I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> okay. Well, you, you should have let me try it first before you logged out. Okay. Why don't you try first? I'm going to go put my uh, fiber in my crop. The, the top one was dirt and the bottom one was uh, a clay. Yeah, but it should be able to pick at least one of them up. Yeah. I think, I I, but it can only do one type at a time. Yeah. That I understand. Okay. I, I picked the dirt up. Okay. So it's it's just something in my server that's off. And my game is off. Hey, Deb the Lemon, and thank you very much for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it a whole bunch. Generally, uh, bigger and more players is better to a point so that you have redundancy. Yeah, we kind of adjusted, adjusted it so that everybody could kind of do everything because here again, we didn't think we were going to have a, a bunch of players. So, I mean, I guess we could tweak some of that, but I don't know. You guys are kind of happy with the way the server is now, right? As far as settings go. Yeah. So, yeah, I like the way so it don't mess with it. Okay, gotcha. See, I would be much more inclined to have more difficult settings on the server if I had the time to play it to make that work. But it doesn't work for me because I only play the game twice a week for a couple hours. So, um, you know, most most everybody else is on a lot more than I am. But if if I was playing this on the normal settings, I I there's no way I'd make any progress at all. So, you know, there's those kinds of considerations. But if we do start a new server in the future and we know we're going to have 11 players or, you know, however many, then we will adjust the settings accordingly. Okay, so I think that's mostly what I want to pick up as far as uh, we're going to
going to cut those trees down. As far as uh, leveling this part of the island to sea level, I'm going to probably also... Let's go back to the map for a second. I'm probably going to also kind of carve this little section out so this is more of a roundish hill there. One forty is a good size. You started with a couple dozen. Oh wow, that's a lot of people. Well, yeah, definitely loss of interest is a problem. This is a this is a a long haul game if you're if you're gonna you know do it from start to finish. There's no doubt about that. Particularly, well, it depends upon the settings, but that affects it, of course. Timber. Yeah, 24 people. That's a lot of people. So how many of them have stuck it out out of that 24 that are still playing regularly? Maru, does the tractor harvester pick up um, wood branches? No. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how I can be as lazy as possible here. <laughs> yeah, well, no, no, no. But it would be fun driving the, uh, the tractor. Right? Hey, I'm getting some uh, wood cutting levels here. Whoa! Okay, that would have killed me if that was real life. A tree fell on my head. <laughs> Half? Okay. So 12. 12 regular players. That's about what we got. Close to what we got. Except for I'm not a regular player. I'm a consistent player. I just don't play very frequently. Oh. You know what? We could leave that tree there because it's already at sea level. Let's ha Let's have at least one living tree on our island for now. Okay, let's pick this crap up first. You, you Not enough room in inventory. What, Maru? You will pick up the seeds to replant if you do that, which is best. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good point. I got some more land claims to put down, too. Um, Rachel, do I need bait for the fishing pole? No. So you just throw it in the water, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try that here in a little bit. I love the fishing. Yeah. Yep, it actually works pretty good. Does it? Can you catch, like, different varieties of fish, or is you, it just... You, you can catch sharks and everything. Like that. Sharks. <laughs> okay. That's a good one. Um, sure, why not? Let's catch some sharks. Um, you won't be able to clean them. You need a... No, wait. I think there's a fishing thing over there. You should be able to put it in. Oh, do I need a work station for that? No, you need the fishing thing. The fishing... Yeah. Like a fillet knife? No, there's a... There's it's a, a bench. Yeah, there's a fishing bench. Okay, I'll see if I can make it. Just see. It, it doesn't have to be in a room. You can set it anywhere. Yeah, there's oh, okay. one down here at the Capitol. At the Capitol? Okay. Okay, I think that cleans up all the brush except for that one little piece there. Let's bring our our wagon over here. Should make a crab pot so you can catch some crabs. Oh, yeah. Can make some crab Louie. You got wood, so it takes wood, just wood to do those. Now, the fishing net ain't worth it. Why not? Because you might get it. It'll say you got ten in it, and you might you might have one in it. No, I've always found true numbers. Hmm. You got to look at the. It'll say small, big, and um. 
different sizes. You can catch you can catch more with your fishing pole in five minutes than you can with that yeah that, fish, the, that, that fishing basket for three hours. Yeah, but it's a constant feed. <clears throat> but the crab trap, I've never done that yet. I really don't have crabs over where I am because it's a river. I got a story I can tell you about crabs. <laughs> it's a funny story. It's not inappropriate. Okay. You want to hear my crab story? Go at it. Okay, so, you know, back in the, the, around that time I said I was thrown in jail? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I, don't know, I was probably like 18 or 19 years old at that time. And um, I had a friend, and my friend loved him to death. Just a great guy, but he was at that point in time in his life rather promiscuous. <laughs> he would uh, he'd hop in the sack with just about anything with two legs. <laughs> and um, anyway, so he uh, he hopped in the sack with some um, girl that was at a party that we were at, and she you know she was not very clean. I guess is the best way to say that. <laughs> And he got, as a result, he got crabs from it. So, so he he asked me if I would go down to the drugstore and, and you know get the shampoo that you got to get to fix that problem. And so I said, yeah, okay, I'll do it. And but the funny thing is, is that my sister, my older sister, worked at the drugstore at the time. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, so I walk into the drugstore, and it, it's the classic situation of okay so i i need to buy this medicine but it's not for me it's for a friend <laughs> she didn't believe me <laughs> she thought it was she thought it was for me and i'm going no i swear to god this isn't for me <laughs> oh my god did you um, tell your mom uh i i doubt it <laughs> i i wasn't living at home at that time i was like 18 or 19 years old but um, in fact, at that point in time, I, I li we lived on a dairy, and I lived and worked on a dairy in central Washington, because um, his dad uh, is the one who owned the dairy. So, anyway, it's just hilarious, because, it, it, like I said, it's the classic situation, like, this isn't for me, it's for a friend, and she's going, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh -huh. So, that's my crab story. Okay. Uh -huh. I, that'll probably be the only STD story I'll ever tell you guys. I don't know. Are crabs even considered STDs? Not, they're more of a parasite than a disease, so probably not technically. But you don't want them anyways. Uh, anyway, okay. Change of topic. I hate fish. You hate fish? Yeah, I don't like fish. Really? Oh, I love fish. You finished your last server in May, and then everyone had summer plans? So, okay, so... How how many months does it take for you guys to go from start to finish on a playthrough then? Uh, how long does it take you guys to do that? Because, I mean, you know, knowing this game, you could be definitely talking about months easily in a situation like that. Okay, so the witch stockpile has wood in it. Stockpile three, two, two. Okay. So we'll move all that wood over there. And one of these stockpiles has dirt in it. This one does. Okay, so we'll move that there. And then I got some extra seeds there. That stuff, I think we're keeping in here for the, for the nonce. Got some acorns if anybody wants to plant some oak trees. Ooh, orchard paste. Where well, you made me a little red silo.
Who's our clothing expert? What do you need? Nothing. I, I have some hides and stuff that you can have if you want them. You need it for um, furniture too, but yeah, I'll take it. I've got a fur pelt, nine leather hide, and nine shorn wool. You're welcome to have that stuff because I probably won't be doing anything with it anytime soon. Do you have a bed or a couch for your mm. bedroom? I don't even have a bedroom yet. Okay. I just have a workshop at the moment. <coughs> also, Rachel, you're, you're like a cook, right? Mm -hmm. So I've got a bunch of, I got 48 raw meat from the butcher station. If you need any of that, take it. Okay, so let's see. What's the next maneuver now? We could get the tractor out again and just harvest all this stuff. And then I think we need to dig up the ground, or at least the part of the ground that we can't plow, to get a field going. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Okay, we got a plan, and we're probably going to stick to it, maybe. Peru, did I authorize my tractor for everybody? Do you need your wood pulp? Um, go ahead and take it. Okay. If you need it, because there's nothing that I need to do with it right now, and if you have things that you can do with it right now, I'll just I'll just let you have it. Um, okay, so let's go here. Authorization. There. If, if anybody wants to borrow my tractor, it's open to everybody. Because, I mean, you know, it, it took me a lot of hard work to make that tractor. You wouldn't believe how much work it took me to make that tractor. It's crazy. I can only imagine. Yeah. You set... Uh, your last meteor to a six-month impact. That's what ours is on, more or less. You knocked it out of the sky in one month? Oh, wow. That was fast. <laughs> wow, you guys were... We are beavers. We're not Can even... We I don't know. Are we even, like, maybe 10% of the way there, Maru? No. Not even that. No. Maybe. 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 Because all we really need to is to do the, the more, more advanced laboratory book. Uh -huh. And then we have all the book, and we're, but we're leveling up on the buildings, so that we can put the mater the things we need to be able to to put the machines we need to make that. And I have been getting an excessive number of spam calls today on my phone, like unreal. No, for the 59th time, I don't want to buy the extended warranty on my car. <laughs> it's like for Pete's sake, you know. Right? Anyway, all right. What was I doing? Storage. Let's get in the storage here. I mean, come on, way. people. Maybe, maybe that phone call was like my long lost great 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 second cousin's aunt's uncle who's leaving me an inheritance of $10 million, and I just missed the call. <laughs> oh, man. That would suck, huh? <laughs> you have to publish that in the newspaper, and the letter has to be sent to you, so I doubt it. <laughs> well, one can, one can dream, right? Yes. Not that I want to dream about missing that call, but... All right, about let's put that... having an inheritance. If I if I inherited that much money, Maru, I'd quit my job tomorrow. I'd wait until but I'd, in the bank. I'd keep doing YouTube though, and I'd stream a lot more frequently than I currently do. That's what I would do. Well, I'd do a lot of other yeah. stuff with it too, but. Right. <coughs> what am I looking for? I'm looking for my wood. I should probably rename my stockpile to say "Wood goes here, OG." I just you put like one, two, three, four, and I can never remember what goes where. Okay, that goes there. Oh, what? 
That is just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't judge me. Uh, no. I know, I'm just teasing. Mm. Alright, did we empty all the stuff out of here? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Okay. There's a shark right offshore there. Oh, we were going to try out Rachel's fishing pole. Here, we'll do that later. Right now, we got we got farming work to do. Wow, look at you go all even lower in it. Hey, I'm a pro video game farmer now, Maru, just so you know. Yeah, look at you go. Right? That's right. That's going to be Rachel pretty soon when I get all of this. After waiting for the iron wheels to get done. So this harvester performs the action of the scythe, but is there another attachment that'll tear up the grass like the machete does? I would think so, which would be the, uh, but it would be the plow body. Well, yeah, the plow will, won't it? Okay, yeah, right. I knew that. I was just testing you. Yes. Did I pass? <laughs> I hope I passed because I'm a good student. You are a good student. You learned about what the best light beer is today. That's right. Yeah. Miller Lite. I, I don't... Miller, Miller Lite. Lite's not as bad as Michelob Ultra, but I don't like it as good as Coors Light or Bud Light. What about Heineken? Uh, does Heineken make light beer? I don't know. Yeah, there, there's kind of the more obscure brands that I haven't tried. Oh, I did try Corona Light, too, and didn't, didn't really care for, too much for it. I like Corona, normal Corona, but the light beer was like not quite my cup of cup of beer. I'll also drink occasionally those um what the heck are they called? Those seltzer thingies? Trulies. Those are really low calorie. You briefly faint and lose control of the steam tractor. You had too many light beers before you got on the tractor. That's what it said. Oh. <laughs> so it says you briefly would lose control of your tractor? No, I, I, I actually ran out of food, so I was starving. Oh. I was going to say, wow. You have sensors or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. How did the tractor know I was starving? That's actually a little unnerving. That Maruski, is. what kind of tractor is this? Is it a sentient time. tractor? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Oh, guy. Yeah. Do you know where your food circle is? There's a, a little thing there that's telling you that maybe he's craving for a particular food. Right over to the left of the start, there's a little. There, that one. What does it say? Rachel, food I need salad. About basic salad. I don't know. I, can I make salad? Maybe I can make it. I don't know. Um. I've got advanced no. cooking skill, but I don't know if I've actually done can anything you make with it. Kitchen? Uh, no, I, I got a butcher's table, but I don't think I have a cooking station. Okay, let me run back and I'll make you a basic salad. No, you don't have to do oh, that. I was just teasing you. Did you, you have? Did you have one left in your? I thought I gave you a couple. I already ate them. Oh. I'm a growing boy. I eat lots. <laughs> Maru, I probably can't plow sand, right? No, you can try. Let's see what happens. Okay, we'll try it. If it works, then I guess I don't know everything I thought I knew about the universe. Yeah. Jesus. A buffalo. Oh. Actually, I need two. Here, just grab the whole damn thing. It's got a couple holes to fill up here. Oh my gosh, I needed four wheels and I only made three. What a gorgeous. I used to live uh, very near Dungeness, Dev, and my grandparents actually lived in Dungeness. So I'm very familiar with Dungeness crabs, and they are delicious. And they also pinch really hard, too. What could they be that they pinch you? Oh, they got big old claws, man. Oh. They get a hold of your finger. It doesn't feel good. They're sea creatures. 
Yeah, I'm talking about I'm I'm talking about actual crabs, not the other kind of crabs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe it's okay. only two thirty, old guy. I thought it was the middle of the night. Two thirty in real life? Yes. Yeah, you're right. Well, it's three thirty for me, but two thirty for you. Okay, let's experiment, Maru. Let's see what happens if we try and plow sand. Uh, the first thing I gotta do uh, is grab modules. Ah, thirty for me. Kentucky's in east east coast time? I thought you were yeah. central time. No, east coast. Okay. Plow. Right here. I'm gonna put these critters in here too. In fact, I need to put some more. Um, <clears throat> how do I add calories to a workstation when I'm not standing next to it? Do I click on those thingies up above? No, that's just... thought there was a way to do that. You have to go to the, to the bank. You actually have to go to the workstation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you have to go to where you started it, and then it'll show you it. Oh, like but then that. I can do a shift right-click to do it. I don't have to actually open it. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> The Butcher Hair Project doesn't need any more labor. The Butcher Hair Project. That kind of sounds like a <laughs> horror movie. Hey, did you guys go see The Butcher Hair Project? It was really scary. <laughs> All right. Let's go put this in here. All right, Maru. Look at that plow. It's got four oh blades on it. Okay. Let's see if this works. Beautiful to bring it down. No, it's not working. I wouldn't. I didn't expect it to. Okay, so let's go. Here, let's lift it up. Let's plow over here. We we still have like some stone and things I got to pick up though. But let's just see what it does. Oh, what did I just get? Butchery specialty level up. Nice. All right, I want to have a little bit of grass around my workshop, so maybe maybe we could start the plowing right about here-ish. <gasps> look at that! That's the coolest thing ever, Maru. Oh, look at all the time you're saving. It's a lot larger swath than the the blades would suggest, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is neat. That is neat. Yep, it stops at the sand. Okay. Wow. And then I'm going to make you guys a... You said that the one that is called... The machete? No, a saw. The sower. The, the what now? The cedar. Oh, the cedar. Oh, okay. No, sower. Yeah, it's not the cedar, but the sower. We'll call it cedar. Yes, that one. Yeah, okay. Let's get rid of this stuff. Is there any way to prevent weeds and plants from regrowing on your grass so you can just have a nice lawn? No. Okay, so that means every time I log in, I'm going to have to redo all this. Yeah, let's get you paid it. Well, it would all, it would not happen if you put plants on it. The, the plants will stay there forever. Right, but I I'm I want just like a lawn, you know. Okay, I get it. Like a clean lawn. Yeah. See, that looks nice. Okay, so here. I have to actually give this a little more thought, though, in exactly where I want this farmland to be. Yeah. 
Okay, well, let's do this. Let's um, just keep cleaning all this crap out of here. We need to pick up all of the non-soil and replace it with soil first before we can plow. shovel um right okay let's repair the shovel everything else is in reasonably good condition Yeah, I can drive a straight line. Sometimes I can. Oh, you're in Kirkland. Okay. Yeah, I, I was born in Washington. Port Angeles. I spent my most of my adolescent and teenage years in central Washington in a town called Quincy, which is uh, close to Wenatchee. But I was born in Port Angeles and then moved back to the Olympic Peninsula in my young adult life. Then uh, we moved to Colorado. Well, we, we went down to Oregon and lived in the Portland area for five years, and then we moved to Colorado in 98, and I've been in Colorado ever since. So, yeah, cool. Are you a Washingtonian native? Okay, let's get this stuff out of here. I think I actually want to go over this way. Just a little sunshine. Oh, Maru, I'm so close to getting that... Uh, specialization or whatever it is that so I don't have to mine the stone twice let's look oh, at that yes. actually we want to go that to masonry and mining oh man we are like so close to getting there yeah, look at that. you're almost there it's this blue bar here right this it's is the progress seven. yeah level seven yeah. Oh, so yeah, it's not the level six talent choice? No, I think it's the maximum because they like. Oh, okay. They, so I guess I'm not as close as I thought I was. So I'm going to have to keep mining. That's okay, though. Right, because. Oh, I just hit it. Uh, six. All right, what does six do for me then? Let's look at that. Okay, look it up because you do have something there at six that you can claim. When you reach this level, you will get. Okay, so I've got. Mining rocks no longer has a chance to create large chunks. No, that's it. That's the one. Yeah, you, get, yeah, you get it at six. That's it. Okay. I Sweeping hands. Seven. Picking up rocks also attempts to pick up similar rocks in an area. No, that's boring. No, I want this yeah, one. This Lucky break. Easy. Okay. Fantastic. All right, we got it. Yeah. No more of those big rocks we have to hit twice. It's a beautiful thing. Right. Yeah, it's beautiful. I couldn't wait to get it. Super useful. All right, now we can just fill this back in with uh, take dirt. And let's just use this cheaty method. No, it's not cheaty. It's more efficient. Yeah, 
right, Maru? The, the efficient way. Yes. The efficient way. We tell ourselves that so we can sleep better at night. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Kind of had a hole over there. Maybe not. Okay. Okay, we have a couple of uh, stones to dig out over here. We'll get those, then we'll move around to the other side. You're from all over, born in Minnesota? Minnesota. Hey, neighbor. Oh, my wife's from Whidbey Island, dude. She, she was born and raised in uh, Oak Harbor. <laughs> Very cool. Small world. In fact, she, well, she's actually in Oregon right now. Um, very, very unfortunately, because her brother has been diagnosed with uh, terminal um, pancreatic cancer. He doesn't have long to live, so she's spending some time with him. It's really sad. Yeah. But yeah, she's from Oak Harbor too. How about that? Well, from yeah, from Oak Harbor, which is the largest town on Whidbey Island. Well, I was just there. We were just there about four months ago. Visiting, we went down to um, Deception Pass, and where else did we go? A couple other places too. While we were there. Okay, let's clear this out. We're gonna do the sand last because that's the most that we have to have to do. Let's go over here. What's up, Rachel? Ballet time. Bear claw time? Well, that too. <laughs> salad, because you're, you're still craving that salad. <clears throat> Are you tired, Rachel? Your character's yawning. <laughs> 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 or am I boring you? <laughs> no, I don't know what my character's doing. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Man, Maruski gives me tractors. Rachel gives me salad. This is a good day. And bear claws. And bear claws, yeah. As soon as you eat the salad or did you eat it yet, you, you see the craving is going to go away and a loaf of bread will appear. Okay, what am I looking for? For the food. When you eat the salad, yeah. then on the, on the food balance diet bar, mm -hmm. you'll see... See, he says that you can't stop thinking about the basic salad. <laughs> I so she can't brought stop you thinking about basic salad. <laughs> <laughs> That's I hilarious. Have had that feeling. <laughs> why can't? Why couldn't that be like a cheeseburger or something? Maybe there will be. Okay. You can eat the bear claw, or it should tell you with the bear claw whether you like it or not. I I, I think they're okay. My character think thinks they're to, okay. Yeah. He needs to. He needs oh, to eat that salad. I do need to eat. Yeah, it's your low in energy. Oh, there you go. Delicious. Ooh. The quality of your diet increased. Okay, yeah, so I, the craving went away for now, but I am going to have basic salad withdrawals here pretty soon. Did and you say that? let's have a bear claw, too. No, because I crave it, so it's just inevitable, right? Usually yeah. it'll tell you two other foods. Two other foods that I crave also? That's what it did to me. Okay, well, I still there's still a lot of things I haven't eaten yet, so that's probably why it doesn't at this point. I 
I'm not planning on plowing all the way up to this hillside, but I'm still going to remove that stuff for now anyway. Maybe I ought to make a bow and clean out some of these daggone turtles. With a bow? Yeah. Why don't you make a shotgun? I there's no option. Oh, there's no shotguns no. in this game? No, I don't have that option in this game. Where, where are they bothering you to at? Oh, wait, I gotta put my stone away. That's clay. Uh -huh. I just went across my bridge and there's about 14 turtles on it. 14 turtles? Oh. Every animal under the sun was across my bridge. That's right, I forgot this is clay. You probably can't I, plow I need, clay. I, I need to meet anyway, so I'll probably just make a bow and just shoot him. Yes, save your clay. Yep. I am indeed doing that. Let's see if I can make a clay shotgun next time I have turtles on my bridge. Yeah. A clay shotgun. Hmm. I wonder how that would work. <laughs> what do you think, Maru? Yeah, I think that's gonna go well. <laughs> It'll explode in my in my hand. Mm-hmm. The fireworks every year after fireworks, somebody is in the hospital from an accident. Somebody lost a finger. Mm-hmm. Well, if you're stupid enough to stand there and hold something in your hand and light it, then you're not too bright anyway. You gotta light it though before you can throw it. Yeah, you ain't gotta sit there and watch the fuse go down. <laughs> Pretty lights. <laughs> Keep the face. It's not too pretty once it goes off. No, nope. it'll be it'll be red, maybe. Oh wait, do I have clay? I think I have clay. Dirt in your, that's dirt. Oh, that's dirt? I thought that was clay. Yeah. No, that's dirt because it has, like, when you look at the box where your shovel shows how much you have, it, it has those, like, spongy It'll looks. tell you the name, too. Yeah, and it's spongy looking. Okay. I, it was just kind of more of the light brown color, so I thought it was clay. Never mind, then. We're all good, man. I'm not going to make a clay shotgun after all. I'm going to make a dirt shotgun. Oh, here. I'm doing this the hard way. Let's do it the cheaty way. I mean the efficient way. Alrighty then, moving right along. So, when you build a mine in this place, do you basically just start digging down to the ground until you find something, or should you look for a vein, or how does that work? I've never really done a mine in the game. <coughs> If you got a drill, then you can use the drill and try to find it. But if not, you just start, just make a hole and start going down. Okay. The way the way I do it is, I I do it as a staircase. I make it like a staircase and going down. If you want to ramp it, then it's got to be a, you got to make it four by four. Right. I, my question though was more: Are there signs on the surface to tell no. you you should dig here? No. Okay. No. Gotcha. So it's kind of like Minecraft. You just start digging until you find something. Most most of your most of your iron's gonna be like in the desert area. You can you can find it in the grasslands, but it's not as common as it is in the in the desert. Okay. All your coal and your coal is gonna be in grassland and where redstone is. Coal coal is in grassland. Gotcha. Where I live. What about under the ocean? Under the ocean, eh, eh, yeah, not, yeah, 
That's where you get all your uh, limes, limestone. Oh, limestone is under the ocean. Most, okay. Most of your limestone. Gotcha. Yep. That's that's where I got huge veins of limestone. Now is limestone processed in this game into something else, or is it just used? Yes. You, gotta, you gotta have limestone to make uh, uh, glass. Well, you gotta have it to make uh, concrete too. Oh right, yeah. gotcha. Okay. All kinds of things. So any any limestone you find, you want to save it because you're gonna need it. Yeah. Roger that. He says as he picks up some crushed limestone. Yeah. <laughs> I literally just picked up some crushed limestone. <laughs> you sure did. Yeah. What happened with using your pickaxe for that, okay? On crushed limestone? I think you needed shovel. No, no you can't use. No, no. On putting down his, coring up the hole he was using. Oh, you mean the cheaty way? I mean efficient way? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, efficient. Yeah, let's do it the cheaty way. Oh, uh, see what happened? <laughs> I messed it up. Getting a little crazy with that. Getting a little yeah. crazy. I was digging up potatoes and I accidentally dug up some other stuff. Oh. So here's a question. Does water flow in this game? Yes. yes. Okay. Actually, I should know that because Arcanus made that aqueduct. Yeah, okay. I forgot about that. Yeah, I think, I don't know if you're still there, uh, Dev, but I think my wife took me to the bluff a long, long time ago. There's also Mount Erie that you can climb up and see, like, for miles around. We're making pretty good progress. Of course, it helps to have a tractor. Right? Thanks. Well, actually, in this particular case, it helps to have a big shovel. <laughs> a big shovel. Yeah. <laughs> That's Tat's fault. So that's all Tat Man there. He did the big shovel. Yeah. Saved me all kinds of time. He's spoiling us, spoiling us all. Yep. I'm going to go to another server and say, oh, we really want that big shovel. That's right. I'm not playing on your server unless you have big shovel mod. To which they'll reply, um, see ya. <laughs> yeah, have a good time. Have a good life. <laughs> Have a good life, exactly. Okay, I think that gets all of that. What about sandstone? Is sandstone used to process anything, or is it just sandstone? Make yeah. crust, must make crust stone to make road. Oh, okay. Also sand. Also sand. Oh, sand, yeah. What you need for glass. Gotcha. I actually have way too much sand as it is, so I wasn't thinking along that lines, but I see what you mean. And we, uh, yes, 
it actually sand, though? Uh, looks like sand to me. Smells like sand, sounds like sand, and it tastes like sand. So, yeah, I think so. <laughs> he even talks like sand. Yeah, I opened up all of my stockpiles and my tractors, so you feel free to take anything you need while I'm offline. Borrow the tractor if you need to. I've got to get a hold of my sister. Okay, I think everything is now dirt except for the sand. The big shovel works on sand, right, Tet? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go offload. And I have a couple more things I gotta cook up too. Okay, so I think we're going to start here. I'll probably leave some sand right along the water just so we still have a beach kind of idea yeah, going on. Yeah, that would look nice. What is this? Ocean sand. Oh, that's like sand in, si in the water, right? Yep. Huh. All right, well, I'll tell you what then. Let's. Oh, does that just turn into dirt when you pick it up? It looks like it's yep. just dirt. Maybe because that's when they were expanding that bridge <clears throat> well when I originally built that bridge I built it out of dirt but it looks like it turned into ocean sand yeah strange yeah that is strange Rachel are you home no I'm at the capital what do you need nothing I was gonna drop you off your tractor I have a mailbox that should be open to everybody <clears throat> right next said. to my house if I did it right. What if that, what if she gets hurt though, Maruski? With what? You said you were going to drop her off of her tractor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been I dropped off a tractor before. That I was going to say, I hope she has insurance. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been dropped off a tractor. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I've driven tractors. I've never tipped one over, which is good. I probably have. I never, I never tipped one over. 
my grandfather did, he tipped one over on himself. Yikes. Oh, no. Lived to tell the tale. <laughs> Got lucky. Yeah. Yes, he did. Ah, it says QD mailbox. Mm hmm. It's one of those small. Only, only bad thing that ever happened to me, I fell 40 foot out of a tobacco barn. Dang. I fall, I fell off a hay truck once and had a bunch of bales fall on my head and messed up my leg a little bit. I hit, I hit two chairs on the way down and hit the ground and I broke my neck. Oh, jeez, dude. dude. Oh, my gosh. They had to fly a helicopter in, pick me up, and fly me to Louisville. Wow. You're lucky you didn't get killed. Uh, yeah, I was very lucky. I fell from 40 feet. Yeah, that's some scary stuff. What I think I'm going to do is have the sand go in three blocks. Okay, so let's start digging this out. I think it's awesome that so many of you guys are enjoying this game and sticking with it because a lot of times we'll start a server up and a few people will play for the first few weeks and then everybody, you know, stops. Yeah. So it's kind of cool that it's Keep keeping going here. <coughs> well, hello there, Jack Rabbit. If I if I dig dirt out from underneath my stockpile, it's not going to collapse, it is it? No. Okay. All right. Let's grab this stuff. Give me a sec, guys. I gotta send a real quick text to my sis.
Okay. <clears throat> um, what are we doing? We're putting dirt down. That's what we're doing. Oh, I thought you were going to go fishing. Oh, yeah. I got to do that, too, huh? Hold on a sec. <coughs> oh, Mosquito. <clears throat> I was chasing a Chasing an animal to kill him. Okay. He's already got several of my arrows, so I need to, I need to pick one up. Need Where's more arrows? Place? No. Okay. Do uh, anything for grass. My sister um, does, I may have already told you guys this, I don't know. It happens when you get old. You tell people stuff <laughs> over and over. But anyway, she works for Instacart. You know what that is, Maru or Rachel? Yes. Yes. And so, and sometimes she does DoorDash too, but she makes more money doing Instacart. So I said, hey, if you bring me some beer and a cheeseburger, I'll give you a $20 tip. <laughs> She's going, yep, I'll be right there. <laughs> yeah. I would do it too for 20 bucks additional. From, you come all the way from California to Colorado for 20 buck tips? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, she. Back to this. Fishing? Yeah, try the fishing. Okay, let's try the fishing. Do I have to see fish in the water or do I just throw it out there? Throw it out there. Let it go. Right mouse button or left mouse button to reel it in? Rainbow. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice. The is, the is yes. Oh, I lost him. What the Hi, heck? Jane, it's in your inventory. It's in your inventory. Oh, yeah, it is in my inventory. It's a cod. Oh, Hot darn. I need some salad to celebrate because I like salad, especially basic salad. That's some good stuff. All right, let's do that again. There's a. F I see a fish swimming out there. Is he gonna? Oh, what the hell is that? A shark. Is that a jellyfish? Oh, it's a jellyfish. Uh, is he gonna sting me? It's a moon jellyfish. What do I do with that? Give it to Rachel. Oh, you cook it. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Not so sure I want to eat a jellyfish. 
<laughs> Watch my character eat it, and it's like its favorite food in the game. Okay, Rachel, if you want a jellyfish for any reason, I got one. <laughs> Um, that's just a design choice, but uh, a lot of people, um, a lot of people assume that I've been in the military. Just, I don't know why I don't, and I don't deliberately, uh, try and, and, you know, make people believe that. Oh shit. We got a shark. Uh, Houston. What's the, Maruski? For the yeah. very first time in my entire life, I have a blue shark <laughs> in my pocket. <laughs> nice. If you get, if if I catch like two cods, will they stack? If yep. they're the same species? Yes. Okay. Man, if only fishing was this easy in real life. <laughs> Another one. No, is that a marlin? That's a marlin. Or a swordfish. You don't have very much room, so. What is that? Oh, it was a tuna. Okay, that was a big tuna. All right, cool. I guess we're having fish and chips for dinner. That was amazing. It's the oil that'll slow you down if you want fish and chips. Can you actually make fish and chips? Yep. Oh, cool. You can also make crispy bacon. I like crispy bacon. Hey, didn't I see Arcadis say something about currency now on the server? No, it wasn't Arcadis. I think it was... Um, oh, Greek? Greek. Okay. Greek. So what's that? It, it's just like money that we can use to buy and sell stuff with? Yes. I mean, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what currency is, OG, but I, I, I should have reworded that differently. How exactly do you use it on the server? That's kind of more what I was trying to get at there. I don't think we've set that up yet. Oh, we haven't? We okay. Have. We gave everybody $500 to start. $500. Mm -hmm. 500 old guys. And is that in the economy viewer? How do I know how, where's my $500? Oh, All right. okay. It's called an OG credit? Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice, man. Maru, that's the first so time in my life my face has been stamped on a coin, too. Really this is just nice. a day for first. Everything is first. Everything's a first. So we could set up a shop and we could Yeah, that's a good point. The they call it catching and not fishing if it was easy. You're absolutely right. <coughs> um, Marie, what were you saying? I was saying we can open up a shop now and put some things for sale. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Can you give it a little price? Like Maybe Rachel will will make prepackaged basic salads that I can buy. Exactly. I know where I'm gonna put my shop. I'm gonna put it right under here. Okay, I think the rest of this needs to be dirt. But what I'm gonna do is I wanna dig up this ocean. dirt here and put regular sand or ocean sand I must have filled this in at one point because I don't know why it turned to ocean sand been running my blast furnace and I'm I'm polluting all the whole area where I live. Good for you. Maru, you got a lot of air pollution. Mm. 
But I can't help it. I mean, you know, we gotta have to produce these things. We can't do it without the blast furnace. Maruski, so, can you turn the fan on, please? Yes. Get rid of that air pollution. Air you, got, pollution. you got a lot of ground pollution, too. Yes. And the ground pollution is because of the pollution from the killing everything. Killing, ev so, <laughs> killing everything? Yeah. It's in my area. Yeah. Okay, we're going to dig those pieces back up there. How far you got your blast furnaces and stuff underground? It's not that low underground, but I have a big old huge pipe that goes up to the sky. And what, I, what's causing all your ground pollution? The fact that uh, the air pollution is killing the stuff around the area. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be doing that ground pollution. Well, there's nothing else here. It's because it's killing it, then it shows like debris on the floor, pollution on the floor. And then there's patches of the ground that are already polluted, so they, they are just pollution. <laughs> what time is it? Okay. 3.30. And I'm trying to be really good at this, but even the water near the ocean, near my house, it's just getting polluted. And Maru, what, what's causing it again? The blast furnace to make uh, steel. Oh, okay. Is that something you can put underground? It doesn't matter. It'll pollute everything. There's got to be a way to control it, though, right? No. The only way is to stop using it. And we're going to go to electricity and some of the solar systems. But in the meantime, in order for us to use that, we have to have a steel. Uh, we have to use steel to make the next level building. Okay, so to manage something like that, do you just run it for a while and then stop running it for a while to let it recover and then start it up again? Is that how that works? Yeah, but sometimes like my, my grounds that are so bad, I don't think they'll be over at all. They'll just stay dead. I, somebody I told me though that you could destroy the entire planet and it would still recover over time if you reversed all the crap you did. Is right, that not the case? If you stop using it. Yes, that is the case. Like if I stop using the blast furnace, it will start curing the air pollution right away. Like immediately, you can see that it's going to take. Right, so I guess my question was, can you can you, can you take breaks from it for a while to let it recover? I do that. Yeah. I do that. But in the meantime, it has already polluted part of the ground. Okay. And I have a filter for the water that comes out of the blast furnace. Mm -hmm. It comes out bad. So I have um, a filter on it. So it filters it, filters it, throws out fresh water, but uh, that's not good enough. The air is polluting everything around it. Pretty sad. I want to come and look at it. Oh yeah, you're gonna be devastated. Devastated? <laughs> yeah, like War of the Worlds. Remember, remember that movie? Which movie? War of the Worlds. Oh, Leyland's on the server. I didn't know she was on the server. Yes, she is. Nice. She should hop in the in the chat. All right, Miru, uh, where's your house at? Here, where I am. Right here. <laughs> right here. Rachel's place is looking good. That must be Varg's place. I'm the green one. I'm a huge green plot. That's not me. Oh, are you by Rachel? 
Yeah. yeah. I'm where you used to live. Remember where you used to live? Oh right, you're Just you're along the the shore. Okay, I see you. Yeah. Gotcha. There's okay. Maruski. There's me, Maru. Hey, Maru, you're really close to to the national park with the beautiful lake and stuff. You're not gonna ruin that, are you? Yes, I am. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I know, right? You have to come over here and see the disaster. So I basically, you're like almost due east of me. Okay. Okay, all you have to do is just go immediately due east and you'll come across my... Yep. Okay, I'm coming over. Okay. Even go through the water. Is this Rachel's Folly? Yeah. Go under it. You can swim. Just press your uh, control button, and you'll go under it. Okay. So yeah, um, Dev Dev Delimited on the stream says air pollution does also create ground pollution. Yeah. Oh man, I forgot to start my cooking up again. I'm looking to see if I see you in the horizon swimming over. I see your little. Icon, your house is starting to render in. Yeah. And I see you are yourself rendering in. I'm coming to meet you at the coast. I see you smoke look. coming up into the air there. That's my smoke. Okay, where's the pollution at? Okay, you ready? Uh huh. Come over here and cry. Oh, no, don't follow me that way. Which way? <laughs> I'll move this way if you don't fall in the hole. This way and this way. Just go straight up here. You'll see the pollution is really bad back here where I'm. Oh at. yeah, that that doesn't look so good. No, and, and and if you look at the floor, at the ground, it looks like dead and. Yeah, yellow. it's not looking so great, is it? Yeah, and look at the grass over here. The grass is dead, and the trees are, are getting looking sick. See this tree up here is looking really sick. Yeah, it is. And, uh, and, the, and the water is bad. And the water over here in the inlet is turning brown. That see? water down there is brown? Yeah, you can't see it because the sun is going down, but it really is turning brown. Yeah, I can kind of see it's... And you can see over here where I'm standing, all of this is, the grass is turning brown. Right. So all of that is considered pollution when you look at brown pollution. That's it. Okay, so okay. what is the, the, what's the proper way to do this to, and manage it um, ecologically? That's what I'm trying to say, environmentally. Well, first of all, it will be a bigger world where yeah. we could actually be far away from a lot of things. Plant a lot of oak trees because they can clear the oxygen in the air. And uh, that's it. We cannot plant any any of that here because it's already so polluted. But if you, if you turn the blast furnace off right now, it mm -hmm. would recover, right? The air pollution will recover, but the ground pollution will stay for a long time. It takes longer to, like... What if you dug up, like, the the dead dirt and replace it with fresh dirt it will continue on being dead oh okay here let's try it it's a hack why don't we just test that here this is dead oh i'm too hungry sorry hold on a second let me eat nom, 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 oh i feel nice here I'm, I'm gonna take this patch and i have some fresh nice ground let's pick this what, 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 what? I'm on the wrong side of, of town. So let, me, hold on a second. let me bring some fresh ones. So if you, um, you said if you planted oak trees, that would clear the air? It's supposed to help clear the air because the oxygen. Because right. Because it takes... Does it have to be oak trees, though? Whoa, look I'm at saying. this garden. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's our canis. That's why I'm worried because our canis garden is so close. And it'll be affected by it, right? Definitely. Everything will start dying like my stuff. Okay, I'm back with the real dirt that I picked up. All right, so what's it do? 
I don't know. I'll put it in. Does it look any better? It just looks like normal dirt. Right? But will it eventually be, it'll, well, it'll just eventually become polluted too, I guess. Yeah. But and I think my thought good. was, could you stop the pollution, A, and then dig up the bad dirt and replace it with good dirt to repair the land? That's kind of what I was thinking. Right. That, you know, I thought about that, but I just wonder. Well, okay, what if we, what if we did this? We have a huge ocean out here. What if we built an island way out in the middle of BF Egypt and put all the polluting stuff out there? I don't know. What do you think that meant? You do that, you're just going to pollute the water. But the whole entire ocean? It'll it, it pollute a, a lot of it. Yeah, because look at here. You see, it's already turning back. It'll start killing the fish and everything, anything close to it. Mm -hmm. Alright, what if, okay, what if we instead build it all the way at the top of this really tall mountain? Then it wouldn't affect the water at that point, right? Well, what I'm doing though, guys, I'm trying to make a spot big enough in my, my smelting room underground. And I'm going to see if I can take care of the ground pollution by running a blast furnace down here. Okay. I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to be able to do nothing about the air pollution because you, you can't stop that. There, that's but it, it. But as long as you, as long as you, uh, give it time to cure, cure up. Yeah. Then you, you can prevent ground pollution. Okay. Yeah. The thing is that the, the pollution in the air is the one that is also spreading and killing the plants around the area. It, because I have a filter for any other pollution. If you if you only run it if you only run the blast furnace for so long, yeah. and then shut it off for a couple of days, that air pollution will clear up. Yeah, that's kind of what I was getting at. Yeah, I've done that. Okay. But sooner or later we have to turn it on, or else we won't make any progress. Right, but you but you're just gonna manage it by running it for, you know, a little while and then turning it off, let things recover, keep, and then turn it back keep on. Eye, keep eye on the pollution, and once it clears up, then run it again. Yeah, your your place is like super hot spot on the pollution map. Yes, it is. All yeah. kinds of pollution. Okay. Look at Greeks, I, um, he's got a comparable system to she does. Greek also right there. That's that's Greek. right next to me is Greek. Yeah. Okay. That's me and this is The desert is the best place for industrial pollution. Trees help, but they won't 100% solve everything. There's a waste filter for direct output mitigation. Requires electronics and industry. I got okay. that. Tell him I got that. I got you, that. He's got that. Or Even she's got for that. for your blast furnace? You, let you say filter? replacing yep. bad dirt with good doesn't work. Uh, throttling helps too. Okay, honestly, I think your ocean island idea might be okay too. All right. If you look at um, more towards the middle of the map behind Queen is... Uh, is um, the Greek god. Oh, hey, and Deus. Air, How's it going, buddy? Sorry, I didn't see you over there. I've been actually watching the Twitch chat a little more today than the YouTube, which is unusual for me. <laughs> yeah. What's up, buddy? Um, okay, well, I think... Do we have... There's not really anything going on on this big desert, except for I think there's a couple of mines over there, right? Yes. So maybe we should move the industrial stuff to the desert. Also, can I just say something? Yeah, go ahead. We're moving. We're moving towards. We're moving towards solar system, which is not going to cause any kind of pollution like this. Okay. So that's the idea: is that we'll burn it a little bit now, but we're doing it for the right reasons. Understood. Okay. All right. Well, um, you guys are the experts, so I'll let you manage it. I I just kind of wanted to see what it looked like because I hadn't really seen it before, you know. Yeah, the Greek, the Greek guy's got a lot of pollution on his spot, too. Yeah, he does, because he's doing the same thing I'm doing. Right. But you guys are working towards solar power, and then after you get that, then idea. you can cut down on the pollution, right? We'll completely turn off the furnace, yes. Perfect. Okay. Sounds good. All right, Maru, well, 
Try not to destroy the world too much. Thank you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> hey, I'm still in the frickin' Stone Age. I'm not causing any pollution. Oh, <laughs> where did I go? I think I you went the wrong direction. I obviously went the wrong direction. How do I get out of here? <laughs> Show him um, Arcanus' store where you can try food. Oh, where's his store at? Oh, yeah. Come on over here. It's over here. It's super cool. You're going to really like it. Is, is he going to care, though, if I, like, raid his pantry? Oh, no. 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 Oh, as long as you write down what your favorite food is so he knows what to order it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's a game. You, you don't have to play it. It's all for fun so that he can put something here. But you can see what he's done. He's oh, that's neat. Names on the board. Taste of the world. Yeah. Okay, and so I go up. How do I? Okay, go up to old guy's list and... You press E, and then you can edit your list, but don't worry about it. You know how to do that because you know HTML or something. And if you come on over here to the patch register and you hit E. All right, what's the actual formatting, though? It's just regular HTML code? Yeah, you can just, just all you do is press Enter, and then just the name of the food you don't like, or like, better. And then comma, <coughs> and then the next one, comma. <coughs> And then it'll become smaller and smaller like mine, see? So the only thing right now that I know that I really like is basic salad. Okay, basic. Perfect. That's it. And I, as, as you can see, I put only the things that I save it. Oh. Yeah. Do I have to put the HTML tags on it? It doesn't look like it's on no, the... No, you don't have to. Okay. Just put that there. There we go. Look at that. Basic salad in big fat letters. <laughs> It will become smaller and smaller as you enter more. Yeah, more it deep. just kind of sh shrinks. Okay. So everything Mar Mariski on here is your character think is thinks is delicious. Yes. Okay. And How's that too, prickly pear fruit? <laughs> Excuse me. Gazuntite. So Maru likes charred mushrooms, beans, prickly pear fruit, baked beet, charred camas bulb, charred corn, fried camas, fried fiddleheads. Hearty hometown pizza. Oh my goodness, that sounds good. Now I'm really hungry. Millionaire salad, clam chowder, jungle camp fire salad. And if you come over here to the register and hit E, you'll see all the different foods that he has. And so if you try it, if you hit the, if you right click on the food, it will go to where he says buy and then complete your trade. It's zero price because he doesn't have a price. And then they go into your inventory and then you can taste whatever it is you, you want. You can go lower. Or the different types. You probably need like two of each thing so you know. Oh, right. Okay. So I'm picking stuff out that I don't think I've eaten before. Yeah. It'll tell you if you go over it, it'll say you've never tried this before or would you like or don't like. Oh, I see. Okay. You have never tried this before. You have never tried this. You've never tried this. You've Okay. So. I have room in your inventory. Oh yeah, good point. Um, I've got a couple, a few slots. I got uh, seven below, slots. You'll see some of the better prepared foods. Criminy mushrooms. Shouldn't I be paying him for this stuff? Yeah, well, eventually when we get establish all that about that, but in the meantime, he just it's like a game where he wants to know what you like and he'll have it available for you. When gotcha. you come shop at his place, he'll have just what you like. Okay, so that's seven things. Complete trade. Oh, that's neat. It even makes a little cash register sound. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, agave leaves. And then pan over it again. Uh, you find that this food tastes okay. All right. Bean sprouts. You find that this food tastes okay. So okay is just it's not okay. good or bad, right? Yeah. Okay. Fine. There's no bonus or no um, no penalty. Penalty. Gotcha. Okay. Bullet mushroom. Oh, my stomach's full. Okay. Yep. I'll come back here and try some more of this stuff later then. Exactly. Rachel, how come you don't have anything on your list? Um, she's a chef. <laughs> Greek's list. Anything with fat in it. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> okay. And meat up here, meat likes cake. 
He does. He said he could. Oh buy look, there's like a little. Campus he's got like a little Model T car here. That is so I neat. Made that for him. He like he wanted something like this. I and love I, that. I made him one. Isn't that cool? And he can oh, like haul stuff it in too. it, just like a a pickup truck. Oh, that is, is so neat. Is it easier to drive than the cart? <laughs> no. Oh, guy, no. this way. Huh? This way. Oh, are you gonna show me how to get home? Yes. I think I fell into the twilight zone when I entered your pollution. <laughs> yes, <you did>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh guy. Up straight ahead is your island. To the left is where you used to live, and okay. to the right is where I am. I'm swimming. Okay. Thanks, Maru, okay, for the tour. You're welcome. Now at least you got to see what that looks like. I got to see That's what it looks like when Maruski destroys the world. War of the worlds. That's what it looks like to me. With the Kura Pani. So, Deb Delimited thinks my ocean I island idea might work too. Or the tallest mountain one might work too. Because she can't get it high enough to get it into the outer atmosphere. Oh, is that a thing? You can make it like that? There's just a theory. I don't know if it'll work or not. Huh. Um, do we have, have, the have the colored vehicles mod? I don't think so. Tat, do we have the colored vehicles mod? No. Okay. Tat handles all that cause all that stuff. You said it gives some cool options. Oh, neat. Like just to color your vehicles or actual different kinds of vehicles? Whoever's asking you, Dad, asked him if the mod even up to date. Is the mod up to date? Tat wants to know. Because when I went when I went on the mod page, uh, ninety percent of them is not even up to date. Oh, okay. Have ten more minutes. Because oh, wow. I was looking for that. I was looking for that one thing. Remember that guy said about the electricity. You mean uh, Greek? Yeah. No, there was somebody that said something about. Uh, some about power grids and stuff like that. Oh yeah, in the last stream, someone did say that. Yeah. yeah. I was looking for it and I didn't see it. You didn't find it, huh? Okay. I turn off the furnace, and now we'll see. I did find I did find a mod with solar panels, but it uh it wasn't updated. I thought that would be pretty slick having solar panels. Yeah. yeah. Well, Mercy, didn't you just say you guys are doing going to do solar panels? The solar system where we have some uh, vent, some of those, um, like, what do they call them? Like fans, big fans, solar yeah, system. Yeah. She's going to have the turbos on. You yeah, mean wind power? Yeah, she's, she's going to have the wind. Oh, okay. She's going to have the wind turbine, turbines. Fit. I saw a mod where there were solar panels. So the base wasn't. game doesn't have solar panels? No. But it has turbines. It yeah. It has wind turbines. Wind, wind turbines. Okay. It puts out a thousand watts. Gone. Rachel. I'm still here. Oh, oh there you are. <laughs> Did you see the tractor I put in your mailbox? Ooh. I mailed you the tractor. You put a tractor in a mailbox? Yeah. Yeah. I bet that shipping fee was high. <laughs> <laughs> yep, can you imagine? Would you imagine trying to drive it across country? Oh, we're full in there. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, a steam tractor and I got a, two harvesters and a steam tractor sower 
You can add half two harvesters. Should be only one. Okay, I am thinking I'm, I'm liking the way this is looking. Remember, you gave me one before. I wonder if here. you brought me one. I brought you one by accident. That's okay. I don't know. I might want to actually put dirt in here I'll in this little slot. I guess I need to bring my I card over my here. The May release broke a lot of mods. It was tested with version 9.5.2. What version are we on, chat? Tat, you know? Uh, I don't know that. Okay. have to be careful I had mods because uh, if you had a, a mod it, it, it might conflict with some other settings yeah did you get the last book that we made um, that and all that? what book was that Composer, I know. Oh, composites? Yeah, I read that earlier. Yeah. Composites. Uh, I think I read that before you got on. Okay, good. That, that was the last one we made. Right. I'm, I'm working on the advanced masonry skill book. And Rachel? Mm hmm. It's nice that you told me all about all those additional uh, research papers that you put in the library. Yes. Were you yeah. able to use them? Mm -mm, they're all basic, and these, uh, what I call upper level books, are uh, need more advanced. Okay. Um, do they need basic, though, for the fill like. Um... Oh, we could put two in there. I think I might have given you two because one belongs to old guy of the plower, right? Or whatever. Yeah, called. it's the harvester. Or the cedar, right? Something like that. No, it's a harvester. There was two. Right. At one point, you had two plows and one of my stock plows. <coughs> I think one of them belongs to old guy. Well, I have my plow on my tractor. Oh, okay, cool. There was, um, the cedar is the one that I thought I made two of. This doesn't work too good in the desert. <laughs> oh, no. I like the idea that, um, Dev the Limited said about putting that stuff in the, in the desert. Do you have to push a button? Q. G. Q. Because, I mean, you can't really pollute sand, can you? It's just well, sand. <laughs> well, if we can do something to kill some of these animals, I'm all for that. As brutal as that sounds, man, there's way too many animals. It'd definitely do it. I don't, run them out of that area. don't necessarily want anything to go extinct, but animals could use some thinning, that's for sure. Just wanted to open it in my browser.
Why don't we grab that and stick it right here? There we go. Only, only bad thing about that and a color mod is you gotta have. You gotta have the item you're gonna craft, which is a cart. Yeah. And then you gotta have, say you wanna paint it purple or pink, you gotta have a, a vegetable that does it plus stone. Just Why stone? It, just to paint it pink. And then if you want one that's. Uh, so you basically have to make the pigment. Yeah, it's. Well, that sounds well, reasonable though. You gotta have a cart plus a lot of other materials to make it certain colors. Right, but you it's basically making you make the pigment, which makes sense to me. Make the paint. It's like say you want a purple cart, you gotta have a cart and radish. Sure. I, I'm not saying we should get the mod. I, I don't really care myself. Uh, but I mean I'm just I'm just looking at it. Yeah. It, it looks pretty cool. Okay. So it keeps we'll keep it in mind. I'd have to test it on my server to see if it's good for this version. Yeah, that's that's for sure. We'd want to do that. Yeah, I could test it on my server. Yeah. And then if, then if it works, then we can we can see about it. Well, I I don't I don't care one way or the other, but yeah. If anybody else would like to do that, then I'm I'm okay with it as long as you test it and make sure that's good. And then he's got he's got there's another mob like it's called Hot Wheels. It's got a bicycle and it's got a like a scooter. Mm -hmm. it, it might be pretty slick to have a bicycle to ride around the house. Sure. Or well, Mariski's got. Didn't you have like a rickshaw kind of thing? Or no, I guess you didn't, didn't you? I must be thinking of something different. Yeah, this what I was driving is like a. Oh, you had a rickshaw. Bicycle wagon. Bicycle wagon, yeah. All right, let's go back over here and get the sand out from underneath our stockpiles. The bicycles look pretty slick. <coughs> I'll test a few of them out and see, see if they're working. I'd definitely be interested in a bicycle. Yeah, this, this bicycle looks pretty slick. It looks pretty good. I might. I try to bicycle out and see if it see if it works. If it works, that that might be pretty good. So if you, if you don't, if you can't get up to the point where you can make a, a cart or nothing, or you know, a tractor and stuff like that, you can ride a bicycle. Yeah, that would be fun. Okay. Go for I'll it. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. I tried on my server and see what it does. If it works, then. All right. Then we'll see. Oh, I was going to repair this. Um, can we not crouch in this game? No. Oh, I just realized that.
I think that gets all the sand out from underneath there. Underneath my stockpile. Okay. Good. So that's that takes care of that spot. Let's start working our way along this shore now. The machine, the furnace, mm -hmm. overnight, and see how how it wakes up tomorrow. Okay. <coughs> Currently, pollution reduction for ground pollution is based on how many solid blocks are above it. Every five solid blocks reduces pollution by fifty percent. That's why Tat's doing stuff underground, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what the wiki says? All right. Cool. Thanks, Dace. Yeah, it keeps it combined. What about, like, if you had, like, Mariski's got a a smokestack, though. How do you do that right. underground? If you can't. Oh, okay. That's the only thing I'm not going to be able to stop, but I can control it. Okay. I can definitely put my furnaces down below. I have oof, how many blocks below? Did you say? I'm I'm all the way on bedrock. Dea says I'm that there. the wiki says every five solid blocks reduces pollution by fifty percent. Yeah, I'm I'm all the way on bedrock. I can I can definitely put them on bedrock. That's where I'm at. I'm on bedrock. Because I, right next to it is my mine. And down in bedrock, I have all the gutted things, all the you know tailings yeah. and all of those things. Right. Yeah, I got all my tail. I got all my tailings down there, and I have zero ground pollution. Yeah, I used to have zero ground pollution with tailings because I had them all down there. But I'm gonna put my blast furnace and everything down there too. Your, your blast furnace? You gotta have to bring the water down. Okay, that's I'll, bring, I'll bring it down because you got to put a pump on it anyway. Right. There ain't no problem bringing water down. And then you also got to take the water back out from the filter. Yes. But, but well, that ain't, no, that, that's, just a, that's just a minor thing to do. So you don't need to take it back up. Yeah, you don't have to, but it's best. Because you could just uh, put another area that you you will put only the water that is pumped out of your filter into that one area. And yeah, make like a pool. Yeah, make like a pool. I have that in mind. Yeah, but will it? Won't it fill up? No, it won't. It never fills up. It's only one level. It's not filled up. Still the same level as from whenever. Mm, I never, I never thought about making a pool. What I always did was run the pipe back out. Oh no, I have a pool of mine. What's the pool do, Mursky? You got, you got to have a water run off. It's fresh water. Uh huh. From, from the filter, and she, she made a pool to, for it to run back into. But I thought it would fill up. 
No, it does not fill up. Does it recycle the water? Is that what you mean? Yes. That's oh, okay. Yeah, it recycles it from the blast furnace. Gotcha. Yeah, so it brings back out this. Oh man, water. we got a crap ton of sand to remove over here. Okay. It'll all be worth it in the end, though. We'll have a nice, pristine farm. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put it exactly <coughs> where it goes. So I won't even remove the pile. This, you know, the blast furnace has the super cool ladder that goes up to it. It's useless. You can't yeah. climb up. You can't yeah. climb up. It. It's just for looks? It's just for looks. Yeah. You can't do nothing with it. Shits and giggles. <laughs> um, well, let it be. Okay. We're making progress, peeps. We're making progress. Yes, it's looking good, too. That's a nice place you moved to. Okay. Yeah, I, I like it. It's not polluted. It's not, <laughs> it's not polluted. There's that, yeah. Yeah. So I haven't completely decided what I'm going to do with it, though. Oh, Rachel. Yes? You're right about the geological research papers basic. I can definitely use them. Yeah, anything that's basic you can use, so. For the basic research stuff. Somebody yeah. can. So those will be all done. You just leave the high tech ones. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get them. Hi, welcome back, Batman. Yeah, I hit the wrong button. Close my Discord. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to read what this guy said, and I hit the wrong button. We thought you didn't want to talk to us anymore. Uh, I, was, I was looking at some of these mods he's sending me links to, and I, I, I was trying to enlarge one of the pictures to see what it said. And, Hit the wrong button. Who sent you leaks? Uh, this this guy, Joey, added me as a friend on Discord. Oh. So he's Adam. Some place, uh, he runs a server or something, I think. Oh, it's Dev Delimited? Uh, hold on, I see him. No, you're good, man. He's he's actually looking at him. We appreciate the information. Yeah, yeah, Dev Delimited. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's who it is. He's yeah, he's in, he's in the Twitch chat right now too. Yeah, he had he had a meal on Discord. Cool. He's showing me uh, some different mods. I told him I'd test them out on my server. Yeah. Oh, I'm too hungry to do that. I wish I had some more basic salad. <laughs> basic salad. It's like we got all these wonderful salads in the world, like chef salad and Caesar salad and fruit salad, and I like basic salad. What the heck, man? <laughs> you might like some of the other ones too. You just haven't tried them yet. That's true. Right. Oh, I forgot. I, I got that other stuff in my backpack. I was supposed to. Eat. I don't know. We'll do it later. I'm gonna take those basic papers and I'll bring them back if I don't need them. Well, you might as well use them because I'm not gonna use them. This should be enough for me. Wow. Okay, so let's start moving our shore more this way. Deus, are you still there? On the YouTube chat? You know, Mariski, I love this tractor. Yes. Even though I don't need the tomatoes at all. Yes. <laughs> this is the best. A disassembly mod. Hmm. That'd be cool to have. That sounds interesting. What's it called? 
disassembly mod. You can take ramps and disassemble them and get the dirt back, the rock back. Uh, I guess so if you got stuff that you crafted that you don't need, like, uh, say, extra walls and stuff, Yeah. you can disassemble them and get the materials back. Yeah, that sounds useful. I was useful. thinking, like, pages for the book. Yeah, yeah dirt ramps, water wheels, windmills, uh, storage, tiny stockpiles, solar generators, steam engines, yeah. The way it looks, you can disassemble everything. I don't see nothing about no uh, pages, though. <laughs> okay, cool. Rachel, that really helped. That put me at 66. Is that? Cool. <coughs> I'm glad. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you so much. Rachel, are you still playing Icarus? Or, ta or Tad or either one of you? Yeah. Uh, checked out the last update yet at some point I'm gonna get back into that game they just had a big update on it just what was it last week well didn't they start adding the aliens to it now oh yeah there's even more yeah. now yeah today there was a big one over three um, gigabytes 3.8 one yep wow so I haven't gone into the game since that one yeah. to check right yeah, I didn't know uh... I, I didn't go in to check and see what it, what it did there. You know, I might actually leave this as a sandbar. Yeah, I think I will do that. Uh, but I'm going to put dirt there. Because this is potentially farmland, so... Hey, <clears throat> Rachel, you know how you gave old guy a donut? Mm -hmm. He liked it so much, he's craving a donut. Am I craving donuts? <laughs> oh, you're right, I am craving donuts. <laughs> right. Remember, well, I only had I one, so I couldn't tell if I liked it or not. Well, that's good because... Yeah, now we know. Now I, can... I need to Did, put that um, on Arcanus's wall, too. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, the oil was the problem. What do you need for oil? Sunflowers? Whoops. Um, yeah, sunflowers and um, <clears throat> anything that I can make. Well, I'll, I'll plant a bunch of sunflowers then so you can make oil so you can make me donuts. <laughs> there's, there's sunflower oil, but there's also just regular oil, which is just Fish made oil. from the cereal gem. Just oil. Uh-huh, okay. Which is a byproduct for like cornmeal and flour. Do we have anybody on the server doing serious farming right now? Yes, Arcanus. Arcanus is? Okay. He's doing serious a lot of things. Oh, he's really enjoying the game. I think that's neat. Yes, that is nice. And I think it's also enjoyable for all of us that there are a few people in here that are working. Yeah. And that we can chat to and have opinions about things and share. So that way when you get on and you start your live stream, your friend Maruski gives you a tractor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and your friend Rachel gives you basic salad. Mm -hmm. And donuts that she's going to And donuts, for the right. Hankering. Exactly. Hankering. hankering for donuts. That's what he said. Let's go see. What do I need to make donuts? <laughs> Too bad you didn't want to fruit muffin. Those were easy to make. Well, I don't know. I might like them. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> a fruit muffin? Like a blueberry muffin? Yeah. It's just called a fruit muffin. I think it's the only thing you can get. It's on here that you can make them out of is blueberries. Blueberries? Um, go back up. Yeah. 
I need fritters. to get some more huckleberry still so I can make huckleberry fritters. That kind of sounds delicious. You want me to grow some huckleberries? I'm your huckleberry. <laughs> you know what, old guy? Yes, dear. You may have good intentions to grow a lot of things, but the truth is that you can only grow what's what your land can produce. Oh, yeah, that is a good point. But I can yeah. grow sunflowers and, well, I don't know about huckleberries, but I can grow sunflowers here. Yeah, huckleberries are hard to find. I think we that's probably in the mountains, right? So you have to be in a forest biome. berries fruit muffin is oh you're a developer in real life and you can make basic recipes too cool man so have you made your own recipes for the game huckleberries is just blueberries you find them find them in any woods yep oh you should tell tat that what is it he's saying in the chat that he's he's a coder so he made basically a mod that turns tailings back into sand and dirt so you can reuse it that's oh, that cool. cool. Yeah. Oh, that'd be yeah. so cool. Yeah, that, that'd be cool. Is that something that you can share with with the, with us? Is it an actual mod, or is it just some code you were messing around with on your own? He changed the code in the mod, and it uh, changed it back. Very cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Because remember, I was asking you that the other day. I was saying, can, can't you do anything with that stuff? And you were... Saying you couldn't in the normal game or the base game. Yeah, but somebody said you make asphalt with it, but according to what I looked in the recipe, asphalt's made with concrete and uh, a few other things. It's not made with tile, with none of that tile and stuff. So I don't, I don't know what you do with it. Hmm. Okay. So if you can turn it back into sand. Or dirt or whatever. That's be a lot better than that junk. Well, I always like the idea of recycling. In real life, too. They're just CS files, yeah. Okay. Coming with donuts. My hero. Are they Krispy Kremes? Ooh, I wish. <laughs> Shovel broke. So if you, last time I planted a bunch of crops, I didn't put fertilizer on it. So when it came back on, they were overgrown with weeds. If you fertil I fertilizer, if you fertilize it, does it prevent the weeds? Of course, the crops were know. dead, too. What do you need? What do you have to do to make that, Rachel? The fertilizer? Yeah. Um, you got to put a star into it, which I'm not for sure if you want to do. And then... Just follow the basic recipe. You gotta figure out how to make um, plant tags. Oh I yeah. To figure out. Is I have put a star into that. Or, or um, not composites, but composting. I haven't figured that out yet. I guess I did put a star into it a long time ago. So, okay. Oh. 
pulp filler recipe. You should be able to do that at your farm table. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I couldn't. Rem I forgot that I had done that. Yes. One of our things that are left behind by the um, <laughs> by the thing that makes those sort of uh, problems for us is uh, that. Sorry. <coughs> compost. We get compost from the stuff that we filter through that for the bed Ooh. water. Oh, really? That's good I to know. I can make fertilizer out of that, Maruski. Okay. And so, so can... Um, That's good to know. Our cane is so here. Yeah. Okay. Can I put it there? Oh, that's a chest. Yeah, so he, he's been collecting it from our work here. But, you know, there is plenty. I'm going to leave. He has... He has 102 here, and I just created 107, so I'll bring you the 107. Okay, you leave it in my mailbox, and I'll play with it and see what I can do. Okay. Well, don't get all dirty with it. Cause... <laughs> don't touch yeah, it. It's poisonous. Fun, right? All right, we're almost. Get you on the map, old guy. We're almost done here. Yeah. Getting close. I actually am gonna have to call call it quits here pretty quick. Gotta get ready for dinner. Okay. Well, I'm almost to your place, and you can have your donuts. Okay. Cool. Made pretty good progress today, though. That's your tractor running? Doesn't it turn off when you jump off of it? Yes. Well, something's <laughs> running. I don't see you, old guy. Where are I'm you on at? the other side of the island. Scared your deer. Yeah, scare them damn deer off. Yeah. Here you go. Let me put this away and I'll pick it up. Where is it? Oh. Okay, I didn't just didn't want to throw it on the ground, you know. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. You need anything from me? I think I'm gonna steal some of your sunflowers and corn while okay. I'm here. Okay. Take whatever you need. Okay. Let's see if we like. Do we? You're craving it. I would think you'd like it. He ate it already. And look at his back to his normal self. So. Okay. He so. Th uh, that food tastes okay. That food tastes okay. That food tastes okay. Let's eat some flowers. Ooh, we don't like flowers. You find this food tastes bad, giving you 10% penalty nutrition and you puked all over the place. No, I didn't say that. Okay, this is a coquina mushroom. Okay, I only had one of those, so I don't know if I liked it or not. Okay, fireweed shoots. Don't make me a birthday cake with fireweed shoots in it. I don't think I'll like it too much. Mm, sounds bad. Sounds, yeah, I mean, who would want to eat that anyway? <laughs> not me. I mean, bad. maybe if you're a rabbit or something, but mm -hmm. last I checked, I'm not a rabbit. They go into complex salad, salad though. They do? Okay, mm -hmm. so if you have an ingredient that you don't like but it's in a dish that you could like it like um i don't like raw pineapples but i right. love them fried okay my character thinks they're delicious so the game 
when when you have a recipe, that's a whole different thing than the raw ingredient in terms of yeah. whether you like it or not. Okay. But there's some raw food that your character may love and gives you excellent bonus to eat it. Right. Okay. You're going to seal that compost in the mailbox. <laughs> okay. It's going to smell out. Yeah, you can take any of that stuff. You can take all the fish, too, if you want to. All right, I guess I'm going to get out first. Huh? Yeah, I'm about ready to wrap it up, too. Okay. Bye, Fat Man. All right, See you, bud. Easy. You, too. Let's go uh, offload this stuff. What does the soil tamper tool do exactly? Soil tamper? Oh, you have to test the, the soil to see if it's... Yeah, but what exactly am I testing? I'm testing to see if the, the vegetables in the area is mature, like... what I heard the vegetables in the area are mature yeah like everything like you go you you get your garden yeah you go over and you put that on and see if um, I don't know it could be more than that I just don't know they told me it was just to see if the vegetables are mature for okay. harvesting but then you can't harvest them if they're not mature so I don't know what that's about Okay, cool, man. So, yeah, we made good progress today. So, uh, during the next stream, I just want to do a little bit more work on the beach here. And then the next step will be to figure out where we're going to actually plant crops. We'll probably use this area for sure over here. And I still have to decide what to do about this um, this island area. I might just remove the whole thing and make this just one big farm island or something. We'll see. We'll think about it. Any hoozle. All right, guys. Well, thanks, everybody, for hanging out today, both everyone in the game and everybody on the stream. Uh, Deb, the limit, appreciate all your input, man, and uh, thanks for the follow. Again, hopefully we'll see you. Uh, I typically stream on Wednesday evenings and Saturday afternoons at this point, so um, should be back on next Wednesday. And, um, yeah, if you're interested, uh, did you uh, join the Discord, too? I guess you did if you were sending tat stuff. So, yeah, thanks for hanging out, man. And uh, everybody else, Deus, Stalker, if you guys are still there, appreciate it. Have a great rest of your weekend, guys, and we'll see you on Wednesday evening. Bye-bye.